Yes. Would you all, uh, would anyone like to give a rundown of what happened on the train the last Pain! Time? Pain! 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 Fire! Pain? Actually, wait, no, no, I, 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 There actually was uh, a lot of fire. Pain, fire, and faster than Where light the doors. I have the doors. I've done my research a little bit on the. Oh my god! Oh yeah, the fire. I forgot about. It. Right. This one doesn't. Is oh, there are the one? screams. I think that one had the screams. It does have the screams. I can hear them. Also the cream. I don't think this one has the screams. I don't know. She had two versions of this one with the screams. Yeah, I don't know which one had screams. That one didn't, so it's got to be the other one. That is a uh, not a scream. Jesus there you Christ. go. There you go. See, see that, that's what that session was. On the bright side, thanks to Chatticus's, uh distorted sense of nature, he did clean up the train a little bit. <laughs> wow. It's so tidy. All the dust has been burnt away. All the filth. All the vermin. Actually, no, the dust didn't burn away. It's still there. Just, you know. It's a lot easier to get around now without tripping over bodies. That's true. Wasn't there like 750 people on this train and now we're down to 17? <laughs> about. Uh, about. We did what we could to save as many as I can. <clears throat> I did have to murder you really a guy did, for actually. being an asshole, but you know what? One dead asshole is... He was a scared man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he was a dumb man, and now he's a dead man. <clears throat> In his defense, not everybody is, in, is a fixer like you. A grade four fixer at that. Uh, uh, our uh, Toshiro made a friend. Oh, oh yeah. Got a buddy. That, that may cause problems in a bit, because that thing is an abomination. Where did where did little buddy go? Little buddy. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's right below. I have all these uh, titles on, so I can't see past them. <laughs> Randall Basta. But you can call him whatever you want, since uh, this guy never actually... He doesn't have a brain no more. It's there, it's just... It's... It's gotten very tumorous. We last of us now. Thankfully, he never ran into the stars, so he never got the 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 brainwashing treatment by them. Yes, thankfully. Yeah, after a harrowing battle and escape from monsters that invaded your train, you are now in the first class, and it is very crowded in here. And through the whims of the god above, Jamal was torn in pieces. Meh. Eh. Mocking she's still alive, though. I mean, she's still there. Just, you know. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, we can get started once, uh... I do some last minute adjustments. Eh, last minute, last minute adjustments. The way of the DM. Always adjusting. DM. <laughs> I do like to think that I am slowly getting better at the. <clears throat> Adjusting on the fly. It says good practice. Certainly. Good, good practice. We didn't have to fight three uh, boss tier enemies at the same time. We are correct. We only fought one god tier enemy. Chad tier enemy, some might say. <laughs> Dogs, I'm gonna leave Destiny now. Did you, you're gonna delete Destiny? Or are you gonna leave Destiny? Yes. Leave. Because I would agree with you if you said delete. I'm all for it. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And Winona is that. currently not in this area. Huh? No, she's right there. She's sleeping. Oh yeah, she's sleeping. Breezy. Yes, breezy. Whoa. Was that a nickname that was given to you, or is that just a? <clears throat> um. Is that... That's just Gradane. I for. Mm-hmm. You gave it uh-huh. a you should... Yep. I think mm-hmm. he just basically told her you need a nickname because people don't go by their real names. You're more or trouble. less. More or less, yeah. So... It's a way, a way of distancing, distancing yourself in and a industry, industry where people die very quickly. The turnover rate of a fixer is incredibly high, and playing Libus Company, I found out it, I've actually underestimated how high it is. You know, this city only has like six billion people, and the population is always dropping and rising incredibly quickly. Wait, how, how is it rising just... quickly? Yeah, stop pe- making people repopulate or clone. Stop cloning them, DM. <laughs> You would think that, but no, it's even it's even worse. But I won't get into that, because that's neither here nor there. Anyways, for the three people who are still conscious, say there's been... Actually, I need to change the music. This is too calm. Yes, please. Yeah, it's too jazzy. Yeah, we're out of the... We're out of the... Chill beats the cosmic horror too. <laughs> Wonderbar. Yeah. But how things have been going? Evan Cleaver, Toshiro, Scales. You're currently the only ones that are conscious in this area. It's a train full of people, some of them from first class, some of them from uh, the lower tier. And Scales did pull out a, uh, well, he didn't pull it out. It's still in the, where the, uh, the uh, the T-Corp box was found. But there is a crystal in there that is, it hurts to look at. It makes you feel unhappy. It makes you feel a swirl of negative emotions just looking at it. How would you like to get started with your time here? I'm going to look at it. As you get closer to it, as you get closer to it, you would you would feel any negative emotion, the injuries you've taken throughout this journey, specifically the the injury distorted Chatticus gave you uh, through uh, melting your face with his eye of Sauron. You just start to feel angrier and angrier the closer you get to this crystal. Hmm. I was grumbling to myself. Hmm. <laughs> Blinky, it has keep a, it to yourself. Despite how it's got a blue teal, it has a sort of smoky black color inside of it. Can I make a, any sort of check to try and... Yeah, you can make me a... Let's say... Uh, do you have any... Oh, make you an investigation check. We'll go from there. Right, that's intimidation. The crystal is terrified of your appearance. <laughs> What's your? Hey man, can I just keep? Can I keep the net twenty, please? No. Uh, fuck. Yeah, no, you you can definitely tell that this crystal. You know, you worked in other corporations. You worked for under an executive as well. So I'll take that as an advantage, actually, that you would know a little bit about this. Yeah. This crystal seems to be from M Corp's district. 
uh, a corporation that specialized in mind-altering uh, items. Their highest products were items called moonstones, which would uh, prevent uh, my, the mind from falling to impurities of any sorts. You would have seen one of those on your old employer. This one would have a sort of an opposite color to the one, the glimmering one you saw on your old employer. I you see. could summarize that this thing is, instead of preventing impurities, it's encouraging them. It's an angry box. Got it. Uh, it only hates. That may explain why you and your companions have been having a hard time holding on to yourselves in this train. Would I know anything about what happens when you break one of these boxes? It's actually just Chris. You would... You would... Hmm. With that... Make me a history check, actually. Boy, I'm great at these. You... Don't know the specifics, but you did hear of an incident that happened during your earlier days as a bodyguard where one of your, not partners, but let's say co-workers, another fellow uh, who was in the bodyguarding business, uh, was in the vicinity of uh, when his... his um, Protectorate uh, crystal was destroyed. It had an immense negative reaction on everybody involved in the area, which led to the death of both your your old co-worker along with his protectorate. Presumably they were killed in a riot, is what the official story is. So reasonably speaking, uh, maybe don't break it. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, you would summarize that. Okay. I'm gonna put it back in its box. You're grabbing hold of it, your hands do feel a little numb, but you're able to put it away before any anything happens. So you just put it back where the, the time court box was found and just... Whoop. Evan Cleaver Scales, what would you like to do for this time period? While Toshiro was investigating that crystal. Oh. Mm. I would say too, you would notice uh not little buddy, uh the guy by uh, the guy behind little buddy bird. He Looked to be a human of an average stature when you first got on the train, but ever since, uh, well, since you've been on in the back and running around, it seems that he took heavily to drinking up here to pass the time. And you notice he's looking a little bit bigger, noticeably bigger. Yeah, fuck that noise. I'm going through the other side. How long have <laughs> we been on the train? <clears throat> I'd say you'd been on it for a day. You also haven't long rested yet, just FYI. We should long rest immediately. And then take and another long take... rest, and then keep long resting until we have our sanity back, because <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> yeah, actually, I changed the way to uh, a long rest will fully heal, uh, well, it fully heals your body and mind in this oh, case. Oh, thank God. For your purposes, anyways. So you'll take a long rest. I would say, uh, at this point, actually, Winona, you are still conscious, since this is still the first day after... Um, the events that happen. So you are still conscious. You don't... Yeah. You also still have an aura around you, but I think that might just be me that sees that. Yeah, okay. Is there anything you'd like to do, Winona? Well, I'm sleeping, aren't I? Uh, not at this point yet, actually. I thought and, uh... I was sleeping from the last game because of the dream, and she kept continuously sleeping. Mm hmm. You know what? Actually, no. I have a. Uh, I'm already losing the timelines. You are correct. Let me uh. 
Uh, forget everything I just said there, yeah? <laughs> okay. You are asleep. <laughs> 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 me, 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 me. That never happened. You're currently still asleep. Your consciousness is not here. Mm. So, scales in Ebon Cleaver. Gradane is <clears throat> sipping at the one of the infinite bottles of whiskey that keeps repopulating in here. <laughs> and uh, keeping one yeah. eye on the, tra the people in the train while the glancing out into the never-changing void. I see. How strong is whiskey? Whiskey is... Forty percent. Not strong enough. Yeah, you're a dwarf, so there's actually like this whole drinking intoxication thing I found, but I probably won't use it because it seems homebrew rather than a specific thing. I'll just leave it there, then. Gridane I'll spend your has, time just... Gridane has you know. been drinking for many decades. <laughs> then you would he definitely have be the tolerance. first. Tolerance has him. <laughs> <laughs> but you would definitely, if you, let's see, you've only had a few sips of whiskey now, right? Just a few. From this bottle, at least. It's okay. it's like a constant thing throughout the day, but it's never. He's never drinking enough to get intoxicated. All right, so it's you'll just spend that, your time. That low grade that. buzz. Yeah. Scales, is there anything you'd like to do? Currently, the temperament of the the train car is relax or not relaxed, but it's calm in the sense that everybody's tired from what just happened. Uh, Jamal is passed out. I am drinking coffee from my endless decanter or flask of coffee. Does that give you like any? Would you say it would give you any effects? Like you just feel more awake, or I am caffeinated. I am a caffeinated small dragon lizard thing. Okay. So you guys will spend your time doing that. Toshiro was investigating the crystal. Yeah. Seems like all we have is time. And this guy next to Toshiro is Fleshbag. Yeah. No, he's uh, friend. He... <laughs> what is he under, I think? I think his name is just... Yeah, it's just friend. Friend. He is... Uh, yeah, you know, actually, I like the image you chose for it just because uh, he's sort of a smaller version of the uh, the uh, other creatures you ran into. I made that in an AI art generator. I think <laughs> it's, uh, it's scuffed. Therefore, it works because he's kind of scuffed. I'm going to be honest, I can't, even, I can't even tell what it used to be. I think he used to be human. Healing spells in the warp, not even once. All right. You'll spend this time doing this. We're going to skip forward a day. So you all can treat it as a long rest. Mm -hmm. Max out everything. Woo. At the very least, you can still sleep as normal. Uh, none of my very stuff. good. So we come back the next day. Evan Cleaver, would you have continuously taken sips in between just, you know, watching the warp go by? Oh, yeah. And just kind of, like I said, keeping a low grade buzz all constantly. You would have you would have noticed right away then that once you reached the low buzz type, you know, just a warm feeling. Mm -hmm. You would have noticed that you were starting to get a little bit tipsy. Not enough to make any effect on you, but you're noticing that you're getting drunker a little bit quicker than you would normally be able to. Mm. At all. Kind of stares at the whiskey bottle. What the if fuck like, is you this? Can, oh. You can make a medicine check. On yourself, basically. Just like a feel for your own body. Sure. I can do that, I suppose. Not, not great. Just kind of <clears throat> stares at the bottle. 
Mm. Must be higher proof than I suspected. Yeah. Shit. <clears throat> Shakes his head a little bit. Yeah. Sets it down. You know, so, yeah. The temperament is... You notice Bird over here, though, who has been drinking for the whole day now. For two days. Notice it, and he is completely wasted and sloshed. <laughs> he is also definitely bigger than you remember. He has just been drinking nonstop. It's advanced bloating. Basically, yes. Fucking waste of space. Mm. He is uh, too far gone to hear you. Oh, yeah, not talking to him. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. Oi! Fish fuck. Yeah, you, Scales, let's go. Wake up. Uh, Scales is just bright, bushy eyed, and he's just clutching his coffee. He takes an instinctive sip at stimuli. How the fuck do we get off this damn train, Scales? I don't, I don't know. This is kind of a first for me. This guy's just going to come up to you when he hears that and just say, you know, I've never heard of anything like this on these trains. If when I saw back there, I've never seen anything like that either. Yeah, get in line. I was going to say, this is... This is unheard of. For a corporation like W Corp, something like this, they should know right away. Something like this will destroy that corporation if it ever got out. A whole group of, you know, customers just getting lost. More than lost. What, what was that back there? I only saw the fire. I didn't get to really see what was back there. What, what happened? I don't want to know. Yeah. That bad? Bunch of fucking assholes the... who think they're too important than the rest of the people. Mm. Well, at the very least, we don't have to worry about going hungry. Or thirsty, I guess. He takes a look at Bird over here. Just Trust me. That's that's, the side, just... That should be the least of your worries. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it'll all work out. He says that one with the tremor in his hand. Hmm. He sits down, just... How would you guys like to spend your time frame uh, in this portion? Like... The, for the new the new day, yeah, the new day basically. Um, we should probably investigate the rest of the train. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a condensed version of that, as you've already you have like investigate those. Uh, <laughs> was that you pacing? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll do a condensed version, but you guys can roll me individual investigation checks just to see what you find. As you go out to explore and... Oh, That's a good one. Unfortunately, I couldn't intimidate the train this time. <laughs> <laughs> if only. <clears throat> You, even with that roll, you wouldn't really have found, you would have found definitely the spots where other T-Court boxes were supposedly located. They aren't there anymore now, definitely taken by the stars. And you find a lot of ash, a lot of ash in the second area, <laughs> as soon as you step out. You'd also be stepping over a blue Zwei coat that's just empty. Interestingly, Daniel's helmet would be uh, over to the left here, having been kicked over at some point. Because it's, it's currently... 
Ash, yeah, if you kick it over, it, ash, more ash would spill out. But it is currently gray and li uh, lifeless. And even going all the way to the back where the original stars of the city were, you wouldn't have found much else besides a lot of blood. A lot of blood where Aura's gone is. Oh, that didn't work. But it definitely looks like there was a major fight back there after you guys escaped and Chatticus was left behind. But besides that, it's still the same old train. The after you got through uh, scales and gradine, what would you like to pass your time? Um, <clears throat> the current temperament of your train is. I'd say it's getting tense. It's like in the state between calm and tense. Anxious. Gradine will just be walking up and down the train. Um, looking using his um he's got his wood chisel he's got he, he's got his carpentry tools with him um you know wood chisel a couple uh, a couple small hammers or whatnot just stashed away for when he's whittling um he wants to use those to basically investigate around where we had found some of these boxes in the thrust just opening up those areas, seeing if there's any other, like, hidden panels underneath wood. Alright, you don't need to make an investigation check for that, as that one's... Any of the panels that had a T-Court box in it are already wide open, but you can't find any extra hidden compartments. Okay. And scales? <sighs> Oh, yeah, you would notice, actually, Gordon, you would notice uh, that there are uh, the same uh, M-Corp crystals in each one that have been left behind. Each of them has a crystal? <clears throat> yeah, each of them. And getting close to them does make you feel the same way Toshra did. Just all your negative emotions are amplified along with... Uh, actually, you don't have any major injuries, I don't think. No. Beaten. A little bit beaten and bruised, but nothing major. Yeah. Um. Can I? Scales was cooked twice. Can I collect the crystals in a bag? As he goes along. Mm. You would be able to throw the first one in easily, but you would feel a sense of sickness trailing behind you. Like we'll say you did it, you threw in one. But as you would start to get close to, say, another area of the train, you would start to. You'd start to feel like something pressing on your mind, like a needle. One could say they react to each other. Mm. Would you <clears throat> continue pushing forward? Um. Yeah. All right, for that one, make me a wisdom check. Save or check? Mm, a wisdom check since you can see it. Or not see it, but you know what you're getting into. You're not actively getting attacked by it. I believe that's how checks versus saves work, right? I guess I'm... Yeah. Is it something I'm trying to resist? Yes. Feel, yeah, you're trying like, to resist the effect. I would feel like that would fall under saves. Is it a mental attack? Is it just pushing through it, like bodily endurance? Is it pushing through it bodily? I'm I'm imagining like you're trying to push through just like a wall, a mental wall of sorts. We use so wisdom. You have to react to something without preparation versus planning or initiating something yourself. Sounds maybe like a wisdom save then. Yeah. Okay then. I'll take it then. Okay. Wisdom save me. And I don't think psionic would psionic fortitude apply to that. 
Does it apply to... Charmed or stunned condition? I don't really think this would be either of those, but I don't know. No, it's not charmed or stunned. Okay. 25. Hey, it's good, though. You're able to push through very easily, ignoring any errant whispers on your mind as you grab the second crystal and put it in the bag. Mm. Although you can almost feel something behind you. That's me. I'm behind you. Yeah, Toshiro did go with you. Yeah, yeah he's... Well, in that case, Toshiro, well, you'd have to make me a wisdom saving throw, too. Oh, boy. Actually, you are in the area of this happening. I think that I would be trying to screw around, or not screw around, be looking at the control console at the front of the train. Uh, you would know there is no control console. It's basically just a giant uh, bar, uh, alcohol oh. bar up here. That's where all the drinks have been coming from. Ah, uh, with that wisdom saving throw, Toshiro, uh, hmm. Wait, hold on, I think I have advantage on these. Actually, I think you're right, you did have a skill for this. Saving throws, specifically. Yeah. Well, I can, so I can choose to succeed a saving, or, wait, is it reroll? Choose to succeed? Hold on. One of those, but I'm trying to find the... There's Indomitable. Oh, proficiency in wisdom saving throws, not, not advantage. So yeah, I, no, I, I get the nine. Just, you feel a stabbing sensation in your, your head, but you're certain that if you continue on with him, something bad, uh, something will happen to you with the headache you're currently experiencing. Yeah, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to drop, uh, drop out. <laughs> mm. The one for you, you just immediately take out, just, yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oi, I've been blinky. through a lot lately. What's going on? A stabbing in my head. I would know too, as Toshiro turns to you, it's, you know, one of his eyes was bursted by this uh, Chaticus in the last fight. Like, completely burnt out. <clears throat> you just see an earth unearthly glow coming from Toshiro as he looks, or coming from his uh, burnt out eye as he looks towards you. Oh, I just figured it was a fucking headache from the damn super whiskey they got in this shit. <clears throat> you think it's these things? Kind of holds up the bag. <laughs> I just sort of like flinch, look away. <laughs> yes, I, I think like it a, is the bag. Like a wave of needles arcing out from the bag onto your brain is what it feels like now. Oh. <clears throat> What are these things? They are orbs made by M Corp. Normally, it helps to shield the mind from unwanted effects. This one seems to do the opposite. Was well, it hmm, trying to drive us all insane then? So we what? Kill each other off, and they can come clean up the mess. More Shit. Or less. Uh, I wonder if we can break them. That might not be a good idea. Why? Let them drive us insane otherwise. Uh, what was the, uh, GM, what was, what was the actual circumstance that I know about? Like, a bunch of people died, but allegedly it was something else. It was a let. Uh, it was the official report was that your a worker who was in the same business as bodyguarding as you, uh, he and his uh, his uh, what you call it, protector or whatever, were killed in a riot when uh, oh, yeah, a riot, yeah. But if... you, yeah, you would know that you would know that the unofficial story is that uh, the protectorate's M Corp uh, statue was damaged by uh, an attack. One of my colleagues died in a riot a while back. Shortly before, an MCOP equipment was damaged. Hmm. 
So these are malfunctioning? Or... What do you propose we do? I want to get him as far away from the group and from everyone as possible. So I'm going to take him to the back of the train. One by one. And throw him into that last car. I will help to the best of my ability. Don't blow your circuits. Yeah, he flashes a uh, slight smile. Something like that. So, yeah, Gridane and Toshiro will work together to collect up one by one the rest of these and take them, not try to carry them all at once, but he's going to carry the bag of two to the back of the train and chuck it. I'll say... Once you carry the two to the next train, there is another reaction. Oh boy. Tosh, are you there? still with him? Yeah, no, I'm helping you. He's to go with him. Make me another wisdom saving throw, but since Toshiro failed the last one, this one for him is made at disadvantage. Evan oh Cleaver's boy. normals. Normal. Oh boy. Hey. hey you work this time. You're hanging in there. Evan Cleaver is unfazed. <laughs> you definitely feel another wave. You're able to shake it off, but it's getting it's getting stronger with each crystal that gets that gets uh, that touches this bag. Full of. I just gonna, I just gonna grit my teeth and work through it. <sighs> is there anything happening in the first? Like, as they're moving away with these crystals, is there anything else going on? Nothing noticeable yet. Two passengers spontaneously combust. <laughs> well, hmm. Actually, no, oh, you're no, right. I gave him ideas. <laughs> no, <laughs> now that you said, I just realized, yeah, you, there was a wave in the second train, so I actually completely forgot that he was there. I'll just roll this. It's fine. Oh. It's, it's fine for this, this moment. Oh, boy. So but let's feel, see. Feeling scales. This where would you? Oh, where sorry. would you say you are right? Sorry, uh, I just need to make sure where scales is right now. Like, probably, where would you say you are in the train? I'm probably sitting over where our. Wait, where'd she go? Winona. Oh, she's over here in the asleep in a chair. Probably gonna go check on Winona. She's been asleep ever since you uh, brought her back. But since you're close to the door, as soon as Evan Cleaver gets into this third train where the third uh, crystal resonates, resonates, you feel a small prickling in your head. Mm. Okay. Good or bad? It's a tickle right now. It's a tickle in your brain, the best way to describe it. It's not a good... Or great feeling. You would you wouldn't be able to tell though that it's the crystals that are resonating together though. Well, I'm gonna do a thing. Am I able to see Toshiro and Redain? I would say you'd be able to see Toshiro. He's very hard to miss with his uh, stature. My big ass hat. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you? Are, is both of you are in the third, or is Gridane only? The, they're both together, basically. Toshiro's traveling with him. Because Toshiro's up here. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought we were third in the minding this. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring my friend. <laughs> he explodes. <laughs> the friend is unaffected. There is not much to affect there, unfortunately. He's got no brain. For, for all intents friend? and purposes, yeah. I can. Oh, see. I have an idea. What if we just give him the bag, the bags to carry? Because it won't hurt him. Do we know it's not affecting him? <laughs> it's 
he hasn't changed any uh you guys would have noticed when you made those wisdom saves that you you know had to physically or just mentally shrug it off uh the friend has not made any change he seems to just be following toshiro around like a I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm gonna realize that he is behind me, and then I ex swap looks with Gradane, and then I just extend my arms out with the bag to like hand it over to friend. One of his tentacled arms just takes a hold of it and just holds it. He looks at you questioningly. Well, you with a blank stare. <laughs> to the back of the train. And leave it there. Don't bring it back. You come back. The bag. No come back. He just starts walking. Through you. Ah! <laughs> also because I messed up the side. But yeah, he just walks through with the... Only two bags or two ge gems are in the bag right now, right? At the moment, Or did yeah. you add in the third one? Okay. Nope. Just we two. were gonna... I was thinking basically we are gonna... It'd be a long time, but we've got time to kill. It'd basically be like, take one to the back, chuck it as far as in as possible, yeah. walk back, go get another one, go get another one. The moment he steps into the next train, Evan Cleaver and Toshira feel another wave of needles going through their mind again. And with how close they are, can you two make me a wisdom saving throw? God damn it. Toshira oh, at normal. What I wanted to say Wait. was I wanted to try reaching out with my mind and connecting with the other Is two. That... Is that magical in nature? Uh, it's psychic. It, I think psychic is a weird dealer's choice. Is it affected by an anti-magical field? Because that is the question right now. Let me see. I don't know. Yeah, you are right, though. It is different from uh, straight magic telepathy. If I remember correctly, a lot of times psionics are considered separate than magic. Telepathy isn't a magic item, a spell, or a spell attack. The spell telepathy would be, but psionics are usually a separate category. Which isn't confusing at all. Uh, well, then we'll allow it then. You're, you, yeah, you can make your connection then. What are you but, doing? Yeah. Something's strange just washed over us. There's these damn crystal scales. Something about them is making us all pissed off. More so than I normally am. First boxes and now crystals? What? This whole fucking train's a Goddamn death trap. And as Brand goes on to the next train, another resonance happens, but for Toshiro and Evan Cleaver, it's reduced to a small tickle in your brain again. You shiver. And then once he passes the third train, uh, you feel nothing. He just comes back straight to position right behind Toshiro. Thank you, friend. Are you going to do this with all the other crystals? Yeah, yeah I think that might be wise. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so one four, by one. Eight. Friend Power of friendship. <laughs> A little buddy or friend will do that. Noticeably, though, with each crystal that's added, by the fifth crystal, you feel a tickle in your brain from where you two are standing right now. Oh by the sixth, are you still standing there by the sixth one, or would you have moved back? I'd say we'd move back. Yeah, as we're feeling more and more of these pulses, we're going to be <laughs> retreating farther away. We all saw I what happened to Chadikas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> By the seventh, you would feel a tickle, and once the eighth one was brought back, you... A cascade of needles just showers through the this doorway here. Well, mental needles, anyways, I should say. <laughs> uh, yeah, not actual needles. <laughs> Get impaled. <laughs> needles. 
My the fire, one. the fire extinguishing system is just needles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the city I want to put it, but I would assume that you two would have taken a position back where you started, right? Yeah, we were in the front. Mm -hmm. Genid, small Jared. I'm just gonna make a. As Wait, he's amateurs. he's currently taking up position here as just the guard. Hey, he's fine. Never mind. It's all good for now. <laughs> oh man. man, it's super good. Super good. Throw you over here. Natural twenty going... for the super glue holding together the collective brain cell we share. <laughs> Uh, scales, is there anything else you'd like to do for your uh, time period? Um, I am just watching for any sudden change in environment. Yep, or Nona's people. still up. All right, then. I'm going to do a bit of a time skip here. We're going to skip forward two weeks. Oh, oh boy. Hey. With what you've done, I'm going to say you can make me, for you three, you can make a wisdom saving throw at advantage. As innate boredom starts to take you. And having flavor oh. with every, yeah, every sip. You're noting, you're still drunk, even though you would have said you would have stopped after a certain point. Not t drunk, tips. <laughs> that is a wisdom save 21. Scales takes nothing. Oh, look at that. That is another nat 20, 2.5% chance. <laughs> the most zen of the bunch is somehow not good at dealing with boredom. Probably the only one here that meditates. Tasha is it's, it's starting some... to get antsy, very coffee. antsy. Just it's, it's, lots and lots of coffee. It's residual from the damaged circuits. Things are starting to fry and go a little bit more haywire because you've got head damage. Wait, has Wono woken up in the past, like, two weeks? No. You would have oh. noticed in between that period that Winona is still out. I could do with the cure wounds. <laughs> oh, yeah, for your eye? Yeah. We're going to treat that as a, a wound that will not heal, since it was dealt specifically by Distorted Chaticus's, uh grab, a grab attack. Oh, whatever. Chicks dig uh, horrifying, <laughs> smoldering embers of eyes. It does look really cool. <laughs> Permanently smoldering eye hole. Chicks love that. But Gerdane and Scales have taken to this marginally well. Toshiro is incredibly antsy and annoyed. And with that 12, I'd say the tension of the uh, this area of this room has risen dramatically. But it's not anything noticeable yet. Just lots of grumbling, lots of people just trying to sleep and ignore everything. Is Bird is here that, yeah. per permanently drunk? He is giant. He can't even drink anymore because he's so big. Gradane has been sitting, using him as essentially a couch cushion. And is yep. leaving scraps of, you know, he's just been picking up pieces of wood and whittling them. He's got a whole little like figurine set now. He's got a one of Toshiro. He's got one of Winona and, and uh, Scales. He's got a particularly Adorable. a particularly ugly one of the Goblin. Oh, he's even bigger. Oh no, that can't be good. He's yeah, it is it's actually disgusting. So is he, he is like, and he is, is he also getting... complete He's bigger, a water boy. like just sideways, or is he like growing in scale entirely? Uh, more like sideways, so we could just do. Oh, so he's just getting real fat. It, it's it's like those <laughs> like those guys who yeah the guys who put themselves inside a water balloon. On the bright side, he can't drink anymore. He cannot reach the his dude mouth. and uh, big big trouble little China. No, what was that movie? Actually, the guy big gets guy so in angry. little China. The guy gets so angry, he just starts in turning into a human balloon before exploding. Five. Uh oh. So five? Well with dice. Yeah. Five of the people in here would like to leave, and they're asking you guys to let them out. Or specifically Evan Cleaver, who let them in in the first place. They're tired of being in here, and they want to leave. You wouldn't stop them. 
He needs. Uh, they just need you to open the door for them as a thing. Need I you mean, to do the hands up in the air, <laughs> cover the sensors. I mean, and this time it'll actually work a little bit better than before. Can he? No. Yeah, I mean he'll. He'll just look honestly. He'll just look at Toshiro and be like, "You're tall enough. Just go cover the damn sensor and get him through." I'll go stand by the door. I don't believe I can. Oh, uh, right. Register fuck. on the sensors. Toshiro uh... is low class. Anything that's not first class is low class in this train. Fine, come here. I'll stand on your damn shoulders. Alright. This guy, this goblin, these three are gonna leave, do whatever. Instantly this their guy heads explode. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Actually. Uh, not yet. Furbog is gonna hang out. This guy is gonna leave. But they're tired. They're gonna do other things than besides staying there. Yeah, Grenade's not gonna stop him. I mean, he just wanted to keep him away yeah. from the burning death hellscape and then now that that's gone it's like go do whatever the fuck you want <laughs> <laughs> put them here for now right. so is this how you'll spend your time frame then for now just whittling away since you know there's not much else to do here was Samal the one that was a part of a, one of the corporations was one of these any of these guys part of the corporations? Like, could we say that we've been talking a little bit throughout the week and... Say it's some ball. Despite being cut in half, she would definitely talk to you. She's less friendly to you, but she seems more friendly to Scales. Through her gasps of pain. I didn't attack her. <laughs> no, she just... No, I mean, she just she's just naturally friendlier to Scales than you. That's fine. Most people would be. <laughs> What is going on? I can't control my map. We're all 20. Are you on the map layer? Yeah. No, I mean, just like, I can't move. Uh, hold on. I'll refresh while this happens. Yeah. Gradane will be whittling and talking quietly with Samal. Right. You're corpo bullshit, right? No. Just another fixer. Mm. Working the good work. <clears throat> what she company just looks are down you? But it's a budget. More freelance. Just here on. I was just heading over to, uh, you know, El El Corp District, just on observation duty. I heard, the, I heard a lot of factions were getting, you know, up to work there, so I decided maybe I can make a name for myself. Wow. So you're Ebon Cleaver, huh? Yeah, you heard of me? Yeah, I heard of your office, Schrodinger. Heard they had a big bust up not too long ago, too. Yeah. Sorry to hear about that. It's part of the fucking life, right? Living the goddamn dream. Yeah, I'm just surprised that your office is still around, actually. Most offices that lose so many people at one time just tend to fall apart or get swallowed up by another one. <laughs> well, it was but... me and Chatticus holding things together, but... Chatticus, I think I saw him the buff burly man right was yeah I don't know what he is now I think yeah I think I caught a glimpse of that creature was that him yeah that had to have been ain't nobody with fucking glutes like that I've heard of creatures like him they start off as human and they just transform at some point I haven't gotten a name for them yet, I've heard, but yeah, they're around. Uh, listen, you mind if we talk later? Uh, my my phantom pain is starting to act up. She just points to her legs. 
well, the lack of legs. Whatever. I ain't going away. Yeah. Unless you got any bright ideas how to stop this fucking shit train. All I can say is I've never heard of these trains go, go off the rails like this. I'm sure yeah. if anybody had, they wouldn't be here. She passes out. Ah, fuck. Scales, tell her, how would you like to pass your time? Is there a kitchen on board this train? Like a food yeah. cart or something? There is back here where the other group is on the map, but... Mm, no, there is no food uh, cart area, despite what the map says. Damn. <clears throat> it's supposed to be just a normal train with beds at the back and a drink bar at the front for the first class. Wait a minute. Oh. I have a... Well, I guess I don't have chef's tools, but we have knives. We can create fire. I got a Dungeoneer's pack with rations and such. I'm going to try my hand at cooking. <laughs> I'll say as soon as you start cooking, uh, I'm assuming you're using fire to cook it. <laughs> Just, you know. Yes. Smoke does start filling the room you're in. <laughs> Oh, not in this room. I'd, I'd go somewhere else. Probably to the oh, next down. we don't have atmosphere scrub. I mean, we don't have somewhere for the smoke to go. Smoke will start filling the room. Any so, room. I'll go to where the other group is. <laughs> they can deal with it. So what is recycling the air? How are we still breathing? Um, Maybe we stopped breathing a long time ago, but we became numb. <laughs> so no, you. Okay, I'll say, <laughs> yeah, you'll give that a cook. Uh, Hills, what are you gonna do? Um, Winona is still not here. I mean, in the sense that, yeah, the, yeah. You know, maybe she has the best idea out of everything. As ever, as everyone, so other people have tried sleeping, right? Yeah, they. You can sleep. Sleeping is still possible. Oh, you just don't seem to gain anything out of it. You like you don't you don't get drowsy. And Winona hasn't yeah. done anything. She hasn't responded. Yeah. The stimuli. She's just been in a, basically a coma. You would have noticed, though, that by this time that her oxygen tank would have definitely depleted. Is it off or is it still on? Well, actually, no, I don't think you were able, ever able to see it, but, uh, hmm. I would like to investigate the maybe dead <laughs> Winona. Your investigator just, in the full eyes of everybody, they just see you start, like, messing around with their clothes, trying to get under her hood to just to really see what... Oh, my goodness. Not like... <sighs> I know, I know what you you're, you're doing it like, you know, carefully, like you're poking at her cheek, like trying to check if she's alive. It looks weird, but nobody's like really like, yeah. yeah. She is definitely still alive. You know that much. And well, actually, give me a medicine check. Oh boy. Medicine can't wait to just, check. Can't wait to just say she's dead. She's dead, Jim. Uh, there we go. No. 14. Yeah, you can definitely tell she's still alive. And you would note, too, being close to her, you note that you're breathing a little bit easier. Like, even anywhere else, like, even when the, the fire was happening, you were having a hard time just, well, you just feel a little bit better being here in that area you're in. Most likely, it is coming from Winona in some way, due to her biology. Well, that kind of confirms what I already knew about her before uh, realizing who she was. Mm -hmm. So, uh, can I then investigate the places that the crystals came out of? Sure. That'll be your uh, your mo movement for the time frame, but once you start getting past the four train, you're going to have to make me a wisdom saving throw. So you're going to check well, all of the trains? I will check up to the point that it starts feeling 
weird. So yeah, right past the food cart area then. Ah, so there is a food cart area. Ah, sure. the, the food cart you made. Yeah, there is a lot of wood that's kind of splintered and... Uh... <coughs> I would actually say that that, that wood you're burning uh, doesn't really burn normally, you would notice. It's uh, burning, but the wood is sort of not moving or deteriorating at all. It caught fire, but is not being consumed. There is smoke being generated, though. The smoke is the thing being consumed. That's how it works. That was how it worked normally. But anyways, for scales, looking through, you would see that all of the T-Corp areas have been emptied out. There is nothing there. And you would definitely feel, a, as you get here, just a wall of needles. Mental needles. Just like pressing on the front of your head before you take another step. I put my, um, uh... Oh, boy. Is there... <laughs> There may be something from my info broker background that I could try racking my brain with, like a history or a kana, that might be able to provide a solution. On specifically this uh, phenomenon that's happen happening? Just a, like, well, yeah, like a warp train. What, what could possibly jostle this... a warp train? I can say, despite your background, you have no information about this. Okay, well, let's try pushing through the wall of needles. Make me that wisdom saving throw. Oh, boy. Thirteen. Just, hmm. You've already been charred black by the, oh, the lightning attack. You've been had your snout broken off by Chatticus. But just as you step into this, you start. You feel a sloshing sensation in your head. And as you reach up to your nostril, you feel you definitely feel sticky. You pull your hand away just to see blood is starting to come out of your nostril area. Do I take damage basically, or is it just like it's, it, this is like a, a, a warning is that it's going to get worse the more you step closer to this resonance that's happening down the way. What happened to the people he walked past? Just curious. <clears throat> nothing yet. Currently, Toshiro's cooking a meal for them, but nothing has happened to them yet. I didn't say anything about them. <laughs> <laughs> He's this cooking a meal, and they're they're watching you with apt attention. <laughs> Depending hey, on your million. cooking skill, they will be intrigued or not. Can I have the chef's feet for free? <laughs> no. Damn it. It would be cool, but no. I'll have to no, no and no but that. Uh, scales. What are you gonna do now? You definitely figured out where the limit is for safely walking through the train, which is right. I'm just going to sit here you. and meditate and wait until either something takes me or something else changes. Maybe I'll have an epiphany with the, the white noise assaulting my brain. <laughs> He's already lost it. I mean, <clears throat> all right. We'll have that. Uh, Toshiro since and uh, Evan Cleaver for where you are. Uh, what do you do? Ev Oh, sure. You found what could basically uh, be described as a, a meditation. You're keeping yourself busy. So, Evan Cle and Evan Cleaver, where he is right now, and due to Winona's presence, you both can roll a Wisdom saving throw at advantage. Yay! Chaos for where you are. You're gonna roll at disadvantage. Thank oh, God for advantage. Wait, and also, 
two months will pass. What the fuck? Um, I would say after a couple of weeks, Gradane would be starting to tear up the floor. He would be starting to disassemble this parts of this train. <laughs> yeah, that's he, why uh, hit me with that wisdom saving throw, just so we can see. It's basically how in control you are. Nineteen. That, yep. You're 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 definitely in control of yourself, trying to rip through the floorboard. I got axes. I've got carpenter's tools. I've, I've also okay. got like I've got pythons and a hammer. Exactly. I've got a I, crowbar. I, <laughs> I got stuff. <clears throat> the wood floor easily comes under just showing a metal floor that, despite your best hits, does nothing. And despite everything, the people are still hanging in there too. They're, you know, wandering about. They know not to go where Scales is. As Scales would have, <laughs> I'm assuming he would have come back or he would have continued to have meditated there. Wait, have any of us investigated the helm? There There's is no, no helm yeah. there. It's where all the drinks are. It's just are. a drink bar. It's supposed to be uh, an autonomous train. Yeah. And we have no idea how it's driven, nor how it's... Uh, why did you roll twice, uh scales what oh wait no i see that first roll is when you first stepped. yeah the, no, the, the first no, one is mean, medicine uh, second one is wisdom for the, initially i see, I see two wisdom the 13 throws. was for the push the first pushing into the needles the 17 oh no 18. you're right yeah now i see it. okay it was for the two weeks of needles and there's yeah, like anything you can yeah. There's no, like, visible gaps that I could stick a crowbar into, into this metal paneling. There's, like, I got a crowbar, just... and I'm a surly dwarf. There's got to be <laughs> something I can pull apart. <laughs> it is a flat metal floor. There is no grip. There's nothing there. How would you like to spend your time frame for this this period? I am waiting for that epiphany. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to sleep in it. Like getting bit by a uh, snake multiple times. I try and toughen up against the Scales venom. Is slowly melting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, I have a cleansing orb. If you want to be cleaned of all the, the blackness on the outside, I can just I, I can do that for you. If you Ooh. sure. <laughs> he looks like crinkled charcoal from where you are, Toshiro. Yeah, I probably would have dealt with this earlier. I forgot that he, uh... You would also... He's, he's just covered in blood, too, as he turns towards you. Or you go to him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will unsoil everyone that wants to be unsoiled. You actually aren't getting any dirtier from how you've been. <laughs> you have not changed at all, besides any injuries you've taken. I don't really know if you can count scales as black, uh, blackened uh, scales as a uh, dirt and grime. It's just his skin that's been electrified. Well, I mean, like the outer layer of soot and all that. Yeah. yeah. Even like looks... super super charred people, like, well, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Well, scales is a little bit cleaner, but he's de he definitely has a darker complexion still. Yeah, how would you like to spend your next time frame? Who wants probably to play dragon chess? Probably. I have a dragon chess set. Let's play dragon chess. Gradane has <laughs> right. expanded past uh, first class. Is just disassembling the second class. He's he, he's gone full like I'm going to disassemble. I will find a weakness in this damn train, and I will break it. So he's Notably, disassembling. Yeah. Normally you can remove the floorboards, but you can't remove where the chairs are. Despite your best efforts. Um, okay. Uh, you found a purpose. And Scales and Toshi are going to pass the time playing a game. All right, fight you me guys can make, you can make the next roll at advantage for Wisdom Saving Throw. We're going to go even further. Eight months have passed. Am I still at advantage, or am I not needing to make one? You are at advantage because you are you found a purpose. <laughs> All right, fight me and draw for fuck's sake. Damn. 
19. Just roll flat intelligence, I guess. I just need to make a... I am turning I am turning these trains into flat, flat pack furniture. <laughs> For Toshiro and Scales, while you are playing... You have been attacked. By... Say by this dude and this guy. Who have well, followed the have followed the the creed of uh what they've seen uh Evan Cleaver doing. They're just decided to go on a destroying rampage, starting with people instead of uh, the train itself. <laughs> How would you like to deal with them? You know, through excessive violence. Um Be beating them unconscious. Fine, I a... guess I can do it non lethally. <laughs> No, beating them unconscious with the sharp unquote. end of my sword. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when people, quote-unquote, die is a, a cascading effect of nope. Yeah, I guess. What is uh, initiative based off of? Is it dexterity or...? Dexterity. Can you guys roll me just a dexterity check to see if you go before these two? We'll just keep it in a simple, like, manner. Just roll initiative. I mean, <laughs> no. Oh yeah, wait, no, you can just do that, huh? You can just click initiative. I would like yep. to keep the HP because I don't. I've been rolling like shit on initiative this entire <laughs> camp right. campaign. These guys got a nat twenty, so they're just gonna attack you with. Uh... Where the flip did that page go? Standard dagger and stick hit. Does a five <laughs> or a six hit either of you? It bounce off my hat. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, you turn around to just see a wild-eyed look in them as they're staring at you and your chest set. It's like they want to play the game and they don't want you to have it. <laughs> How do you return it? Yeah, you could just ask politely. Persuasion you check. Go. Yeah, I'd like to persuasion check. Go for it. Okay, I have a I have a plus two to my persuasion. 16. Can I get I advantage if he's helping I'd me? I give you advantage. Yeah. How are you helping him? I am gesturing at the. <laughs> you know that one guy on TikTok is like, this is really simple. You could have just done this. I'm making those hand gestures like, look, you could have just come over here. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for eight months and you never once asked to play. <laughs> They're with that role, they're stunned right now. Just <laughs> they still definitely have a hostile gesture to you, but they're just currently thinking to themselves they could have just asked. <laughs> but now they're also in that case of they're too far in, they kind of just want to kill you. <laughs> Let's see, Toshiro is a friend. What would have happened if I if I happened to have you know lost it for a second? Um. 35 points of psychic would have been on one of them. That's fine. This is this is him. I'll say it's on the, uh, this guy here. No, no, no. I don't actually want to do oh. it. I'm just like, oh, if, if I if did. He's, he's visualizing what would have happened, what he would have done if it actually did come to blows. <laughs> but they're currently stunned. You have an extra turn action to do your thing before they regain their senses and attack you again. Sweet That's spot. for regaining senses? <laughs> That's the sensible thing to do? Uh, you know, regaining their their immense hatred for being stuck on this train forever in a day. Regaining their nonsense. Oh, boy. They really just want to kill you. All right. Let's make the chest can the I make chest a... No, go ahead. Can I, can I just make, like, with my hammer? Yeah. Be, I guess... I, I don't know what that would be considered. So, like, a 1d4 for damage? Hold on, let me just look it up. I th I'm pretty sure there is a stat block for like a light hammer. Yeah, light light hammer would be one d four. One d four bludgeoning strength. All right, I'm gonna smack one, and then I'm gonna smack the other. What do I? What would I even roll here? You're proficient in it, so just make an attack roll. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll substitute the damage. I'm not using my cyber katana. Not using the blunt end of it. That's a pretty strong hit. I mean, yeah, that hits him. Well, one of them. 
I mean, am I allowed to use the blunt end and get the same like damage profile? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think there's anything that says you know using a melee hit is instantly lethal all the time. All right, nope. in that case, I'll, uh, I'll weapon butt them. You're, you'll murder stroke them with the blunt end. Okay. Flat you of the blade. Smash this guy in, you smash this guy into the side of the wall and he goes down immediately. <laughs> All right, he's my second attack to do the other guy. Oh, look at that. It's also hits. That was just a, a double? That was a sad just a, crit. <laughs> <laughs> Still, that's a, that's enough. Just an easily thwarted assassination attempt that they both slam into the side. Yeah, the feeling that this uh, this is probably the start to something bad. At this at this point, I'm just so done with it. I, <laughs> I look back to the board and just gesture again. <laughs> I'll just put them like this because I can't find the sleeping again. Turn them sideways, yeah. Yep. All right. Everybody else, how seems good. Even for these three, to look at this, they just look with like a blank stare in their eyes at what happened. They just go back to sitting against the wall. So you guys are gonna continue playing, and uh, are you still ripping up the floor, Evan Cleaver? Yeah, I mean, it started angrily, and it's become this almost methodical, he's stacking the wood, he's making sure it's coming up clean, he's not breaking it when he can, he's, you know, it, it, it's become a very methodical organization of <laughs> dismantling this train. <laughs> like I said, he's basically yeah. making flat pack furniture boxes, just... If I knew how to make super advantages, I would allow that. But for the next time period, you guys can roll an advantage for your wisdom saving throws. Yay. We're going to go a year. Hey, 21. Gales has no problem holding on. He's he's enjoying this game. We have, com we have made a bunch of different games. 23, 24, it's no problem at all. <laughs> we're, we're just... <laughs> a year, I have probably dismantled most of the train I can make it to without the needles. <laughs> I've become a world grandmaster in dragon chess. Well, Evan Cleaver has been uh, finally dismantling the second train completely fully. Well, the floor anyways. And anything that Any, wasn't anything screwed down that, or locked and, in. Yeah, anything that can be removed has been removed. He's probably managed to modify his crowbar to also undo bolts. You know, he's modified the, the wedging area so it actually can also grab onto bolts and undo those. He's built other different tools and such like that. He's got he, he, he's transitioned into building things now. He uses the wood that he's taken <laughs> up and he's building better benches. He's building more comfortable furniture. In in your sort of serenity, you hear gunshots from behind you. Oh no. But you react at all to them? They aren't directed at you. It's like a it's more like a dull like Close the door. Oh, the door is it's uh it's coming from the first classroom. Close the door. Don't care. Oh, Evan Cleaver hears this? Yeah, only Evan Cleaver would hear it, really. He'll stop, put down his tools, and wander in. You see Gennett has just uh, blown away this guy on the left. Where his uh, <sighs> face is, is just a pulped mass. The fuck are you doing, Gennett? He came at me, dude! Look at him! You take a look at this guy, and you just see he has a very small shiv in his hands. Apparently fashioned from some metal. So you blew <laughs> the metal his... That you ripped up. So you blew his face off? God. Yeah! Looks like he blew his face off, you hear from the front. Furbog and Fulmer just, uh... They've gone the way of Bird. Everybody's just drunk, blood... <laughs> bulbous drunk people. Actually, friend would be uh, over here with Toshiro, just hanging out. Now, is the guy who has no longer a face 
he's still alive because that's how the train works. Yeah. Do you, yeah, the top half of his head is, or the top part of his head is gone. You see his tongue is just waggling. You hear a low, vo I, I, like, groaning I go grab voice a from blanket, where the larynx put it was. Over. I just put a blanket over it. I'm not dealing with this. I'm yeah, going not to... again. <laughs> not again. Yeah, Grudane will probably do that. Yeah, he'll just be like, for fuck's sake, Denid. Now we gotta listen to him you. screaming ah. and that for the next fucking three weeks. I actually don't know how it would sound if somebody could only speak through their larynx area, but I'm sure it's not a very pretty sound to hear. <laughs> I'll just cover him with a blanket. He is... He is I don't know how that will sound. Everyone proceeds to try to see the Accurate representation. Um, uh, and then he's going to turn back to Gennett. <sighs> Do it again, I'm taking your fucking gun away. Got it? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Um, and then Edmund Cleaver's gonna walk back. In the corner of his eye, he sees Winona still sleeping. Yeah, just... And a brainwave hits him. And he's gonna go over and pick up Winona and start carrying her back farther back into the train to see what happens. He's going to just start carrying her toward Toshiro and Scales. Oh, well, this is a development. Hey. You just see Toshiro carrying Winona on his back. Gurdain, you mean? Ah, uh, Gurdain, yeah. Did I say, oh, Winona is carrying... <laughs> How are you guys still fucking playing that game? Doesn't it get old? That's why we make different modes. Yes, oh. we're on to the 4D variant now. Mm. Well, I'm gonna go hey, wake we... this... I'm gonna go wake Miss Sunshine here up. Oh. Man. Are you sh Oh. Well, I got no other better ideas. We've been in this train for a fucking year. She's been sleeping the entire time. Uh, how do you plan to wake her up? Same way we don't want to go to the back of the train. Figure if it assaults our heads, it probably gets into hers too. Be like, loves company. Be like falling in a, during your dream, right? Yeah. Something's got to jolt you awake. I would say, though, as you bring her in, that blood starts to pour down out of her nose onto your back, but she makes no change in her uh, demeanor. Well, if something happens at Ground Zero, I'm fine. I'm gonna follow after him. Oi. Both of you make me wisdom saving throw since you're going further down in there. Do we have advantage since we've been doing this for a year? <laughs> <laughs> Not specifically this. This resonance pain is something else besides just uh, fourteen hanging out in boredom. Wait a second. <laughs> Good no cannot be faced. <laughs> there is no change in her, besides uh, her head seemingly starting to melt on the back of your head. Toshiro's a <laughs> that's a one. Toshiro, but no. isn't it an advantage? Because we've been keeping sane. Apparently not. No, because you're going, break in you're, the sanity. you're going directly into the resonance area. You've been able also to keep yourself by staying in the year. Board. That's what I you just... Haven't, yeah. Yeah, no, you haven't... No, it's like the effects the wouldn't resonance. stack. Like, before I had... Uh, it was like, if you keep doing this, something bad will happen. But, like, it's no, been a no, year. No, that's, I feel like it's on no, cooldown. Yeah. No, this one, though. Make me a 1D100 roll. Oh, boy. It's been a while. How do I even do that? Uh, slash. slash R one D one hundred. Oh right. Seventeen. I'm hoping low is good and not bad. You immediately faint. Oh boy! <laughs> you take one step and you just fall forward onto your face. No. Oh, fuck. Onto me. Pull him back in the other room, scales. You just see a pool of blood from underneath where his uh, face is. I slap him awake. 
<laughs> Can I try slapping him awake? Sure, make me that strength check. Uh, mm, strength check. Gradane's gonna slap Winona to try to get her awake. Go for that strength check. Uh, Toshiro is slowly coming around to his senses. He'll be back in a few. Strength uh, check. Uh, 14. You just slap Winona. She, there's no change in her. What the fuck? He's going to shove his flask of plenty into her mouth. Pour some fiery liquid down her throat. She is drowning. She has also not had any change in her mental ability. He's choking on the uh, booze. She's just not swallowing, kind of turns her over and pats her back yeah. to get it out of her throat. Is this uh, how you're going to spend your next time frame, though, with uh, just trying to get these two while getting Winona awake and Toshiro trying to come back to his senses? Uh, yeah, seeing it not working, he'll probably take her back and mm -hmm. drop her off. Because and... we're about to go through another time skip. I'm going to run towards the crystals. <laughs> you're going to run towards them? Yeah, I'll just, like, if Gradan's going back, Gales is going to hang around and then close the door. And then start going towards the crystals. Make me a wisdom saving throw. Where do I get? Where do I get first of all? Oh, you get uh, right here. Right in, like, in the next train. So... Since you're going to try and make it to the end where all the crystals are. Oh, wonderful. Make me a 1d100 roll. Character becomes homicidal, dealing harm to nearest person as efficiently as possible. The screams echo in your mind. You closed the door behind you, right? Yes, I did. So you basically end up in a state where you're wandering into the open areas as just a, a psychomaniac. Do I generally go towards, w without a target, but if you say that I'm still going towards my original goal of the crystals? Yes. They're actually what's keeping you even from coming back is... The closer you get, more waves are just pounding into your brain as you just wish to end something, destroy anything. Hey, where's the next point that I get to? Oh, you can get all the way to the end. You're just, uh, you've gone completely bonkers right now. And you're going to stay bonkers for a little bit. The crystals are all there. Your head is pounding. Blood is pouring out of your eardrums, your nose. Your eye doesn't feel too good. Well... There's a lot of you that doesn't feel good right now. That's okay. Maybe the crystals will grant me a vision. Is that how you're going to spend your time frame then? Sure. I'm Ten smart. years have passed. Ten years. I just want to make a roll here to see if... Uh... One person would have wandered back there to see whatever became of you. This guy, Nom Nom Great Bane. He probably would have gotten this far before he uh, saw a very bloody lizard. Tarred black. How would you have reacted to him in your homicidal state? Well, in the most efficient way would probably be using my bow after being hidden somewhere skulking around uh, he would have just walked in and you would have been hidden from him as you just blink yeah just make your attack roll that advantage because he has no idea you're there so that's, that's a 20 a dirty dirty 20 he immediately goes down he just 
I'm assuming you would say like you would be like in this area or somewhere here, right? Or... No, I'm in the next card over. Oh. You, you, you kidding me? I'm not going to be within 30 feet of the uh, engagement zone. I'm a rogue. <laughs> oh, 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 you're right. You're right. He gets shot a single shot in the head. He manages to stumble forward for a second before falling over. We're going to go through another time skip. We're going to zoom through this fast now as things start to deteriorate very quickly. Oh, they just now started to deteriorate. Well, they've actually been deteriorate. It's actually been a little bit worse as uh, Gennon will almost certainly have shot somebody else by now. And I would have taken but... his gun. Gerdane would have taken his gun. <laughs> Terry Farrell, his only targets are Winona, who hasn't done anything to him, Samal, who was already downed, and, and the bloated people. three water balloons. <laughs> But we're going to say 30 years have passed. Are we visibly aged in any way? No. You have not aged. You don't really feel hungry. You don't feel sleepy. You haven't had to use the restroom. Please yeah, make Gennett, me a wisdom saving throw. Gennett's lost his hands at this point. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, is, he is handless. And he doesn't Gennett have a gun. I would say, though, before he would have definitely shot at somebody. Probably not you, since you wouldn't have been... You would have been busy dismantling. Do we have advantage on this one? I would have built him a cage. He's he's in I'm a... Tell sure, on Evan Cleaver would have advantage, because they have purposes, and... Uh, actually, uh, the one who doesn't need to do is uh, Scales. <laughs> That's a machine gun. Would but actually miss some all. <laughs> yeah, uh, currently, uh, he is uh, just... The guy in the back who's murdering everybody. It's been 30 years. You think someone would have checked on him? Shit, man. That's another nat 20. There's a lot of them tonight. <laughs> Just because Noko's not rolling. But yeah, Gridane would have yeah. basically built like houses for everybody. He would have locked <laughs> Grid locked Gennett into his own house. Like he he's repurposed the entire train and built a little vel village where everyone has their own house, their own <laughs> I can believe that actually. I'll put a yeah. There you go, a little uh, cage. I'm a cleaner. Let me out. Fuck off. I promise I won't shoot anybody anymore. Uh, honestly, after 30 years, he probably doesn't even respond to him anymore. <laughs> yeah, this is actually like probably the third time he said this, or the 30th time he said it to you. He does it once a year. Today. <laughs> Making a house for everybody? Yep. Can mine have paper walls? Yes. Thank you. In 30 years, Evan Cleaver is a... Has developed paper. He is a master carpenter. He was already decent. Yeah. Mm. 30 years of doing nothing but working with wood. Wait a minute. If we're going to, like... At some point, Varroa okay. would have also gone back. So, in baseline 5e, I think there is a mechanism where if you want to take feats but don't have any, like, you know, you're not leveling up. You yeah, just train in that. It is a variant rule in, I think, yeah. Xanathar. Same thing with skill skill proficiencies and that kind of stuff. There are yeah. variant rules. Can you say rules. that we've developed At, certain feats? I would actually say that in your process of this training you would have done, you would have noticed no change in either your muscular, in your muscular strength or your dexterity. Well, this would more be like mental... At like well, if you practice cooking for long enough, you get better at it. Yeah. For that case, make me a wisdom check on that. That is a that'll be a couple of wisdom checks actually. No. Someone dies for the first meal you make. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna lucky that. You've got unlimited luckies. That is also a thing. Ten. No. God damn it. I actually have to... That lucky thing is actually pretty powerful for the situation you're in. But, Every day mm, you get three rerolls. Yeah. It's basically infinite. The thing is, though, the day isn't changing. The time... The passage of time of a day 
Yeah, but if a long rest takes what eight hours? It does say that you regain your you regain your expended. I luck think at that point a it's, a moot, it's a moot point with that amount of time for any yeah. sorts of rolls. <laughs> You have a uh, murder hobo kobold going up and down. Scales, back another, to the train. another person would have wandered into your zone. Uh, how would you have reacted to them? It's a small goblin. Death. Uh, uh, no play, mixed scales. And I, I jump out of from behind. As they walk in, I jump from the shadows next to them and then start beating the crap out of them with my bare hands. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, you just make me an attack roll then. He's gone feral. Or wait. With my psychic shivs, actually. That is not sharp. Either. Boink. You hit. You hit really hard. You hit so hard. <laughs> you just sink back into the darkness Wait, as no, uh, the wrong one. this goblin is basically torn to pieces. Oh, no, they're not torn to pieces oh. with the psychic damage. Oh, they're psychic left damage. Cataton or What's the word for when your nerves are just shooting without... You ever see a squid or a dead squid that has soy sauce poured all over it? That's what their bodies are with the psychic damage. Catatonic. Yeah. That's a very specific mental image. <laughs> now, gonna guess. does Scales become cannibalistic? Does he eat his victims? That's up to him, honestly. He's just He just wants to murder and in the general rule set, but if he wants to start eating people, he can. I am just killing people. He's I passing the time in his own way. I'm passing time. We're going to have another time skip. Another oh, major Oh, Lord. A hundred years have passed. Gurdain is now the, old, the oldest ever dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you two, make me a wisdom saving throw. At advantage? Uh... Actually, at advantage, yeah, since you you both found purpose. I have made a house. Scales has completely, like, he's disappeared. I don't <laughs> play dragon chess with, so I'm rehearsing I mean, games and working on my cooking. You'd probably, you could probably convince Gradane to play, and he'd I probably. I am becoming. I have made a house team. out of dead I am bodies. becoming GM Hikaru, as well as Gordon Ramsay. At some point, this man up here would have attempted, well, actually, hold on. I've made doing... a house out of dead bodies because people keep on wandering in. <laughs> he would have wandered in as well and also gotten murked. I can't give you control of the and bodies. This time I'm going to sharpshooter. Okay, can we say that like someone, <laughs> one of us has gone back to check in on him. We haven't seen him for 30. That's another one down. 130 years. Yeah. I, I would say, honestly, probably within... Mm -hmm. Within a few months of him having disappeared, I would assume that Toshiro and, and I... And people would have, keep disappearing. Yeah, Toshiro and I would have gone and checked, but... Yeah. How do we, uh... Again, do you, you know, yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're going. going Who's leading the way inside, then? I will, uh, with my big-ass hat. Uh, Gretain actually will activate his globe of darkness and lead the way. He'll... He'd be like, Look, oh, right. this is some wiser. So Gradane will lead using his globe of darkness. Because no one can see him in it! But we can <laughs> see, because we got the blind sight. We got the blind sight. Well, and I can see, because it's, it's normal darkness, so we can see through it just fine with dark vision. Yeah. We'll skip ahead, then. You, uh, you come upon what's basically a house of bodies. I'll say that there were even more victims at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, anybody that could move ended up at some point here. But if they can't die, then they're basically just still... They're just, like, grievously injured, but alive. You follow like the I moaning. Said, soy sauce on dead squid. Yeah. You just follow, just like, the groaning in pain. <laughs> I wonder, would you have made a house for Winona as well, uh, Devin oh, Cleaver? definitely. A little Sleeping Beauty palace. She's just in a glass coffin in the middle. Ah, cat free hand, but close enough. She's already in one, if you haven't noticed. Oh, true. I forgot about that. You are made out of air. 
But I'm mean, clear, you would have come upon this. Uh, Scales, what would you have been doing in your house of horrors? Also, you guys need to make me another wisdom saving throw because you are coming upon the eight crystal resonance. This is a very difficult check if you continue onwards. Is this a disadvantage? Normal? Mm, normal. Wisdom saves. And the difficulty is very difficult. <laughs> now we don't uh, roll well. <laughs> yeah. Toshiro misses by a hair. Evan Cleaver also failed a little bit, but we'll treat this you instead as instead of going straight like insane, you take a lot of pain from it. A lot of pain. You're it's like the edges of your vision are just screaming at you, tearing into your head. You I will, I will use that you. thing to re-roll the saving throw. Yeah. Do you have to take the re-roll, or is it just... I think I have to take the re-roll. Okay. Let me see. Uh, you must use the new roll, and you can't use this feature again. It's a long rest. Okay. Whoa. I'm going to lucky that. <laughs> For fun. Wait, do we have numbers. advantage? No, this is normal. But lucky only is not you. one more dice. It doesn't re-roll the advantage. That's a nine then, huh? The finale? Final? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, You're almost brought to your knees, Toshiro, by the pain just emanating through your very core. Right over here. If door. you get into a fight, you have a feeling that you won't be able to concentrate on anything throughout it. Fuck's sake. As he opens the door, and Gradane sees the body mountain, body tower. <laughs> just calls out. They're all moaning at you. Just, uh... Scales! What the fuck are you doing back here? What is this shit? So, can, can we... Do, can you try looking for scales in the... Mountain of bodies. You can, I yeah, to, yeah. Yeah, I can make a perception <laughs> check. I will do stealth. Mm. Yeah, it's not the worst. Does blind sight negate that? <laughs> you just see I... his, his <laughs> nose. His nose is poking out, and you can see his eyes looking at you. Mm. And in between two or three of the bodies, there's the glow yeah. of his blades. I don't know if blind sight works like that because you would, you're basically searching for him among the body part. You can yeah. sense, you know, you can sense there's a lot of people there, but you can't tell who's who. And what scales can see is a globe of darkness. And if you have dark vision, you can see Toshiro. You can't see Gradane. Gradane disappears and goes invisible in darkness yeah. because of. You know, we did reason. skip over too, but uh, scales, would you have made any traps? Along your, uh, I would rather journey. have the beneficial say. glee of killing something myself rather than Ooh. use artifice. Okay. You just see a globe of darkness approaching. <sighs> Scales, come on! What the fuck is going on here? Why are you killing everything? <laughs> Tell me, they tell me I need to kill. I need, it tells me, it tells me I need to kill. Kill, kill. Yes. You just hear this kill, whispering kill, from kill, among kill. the house of bodies. <laughs> kind of sounds Fuck. like it's coming from everywhere and nowhere. <sighs> Toshiro, we're probably going to have to kill him. He's gone <laughs> insane. I don't know if we can kill anyone well, at this point. Take his hands off. Uh, how about we knock him out and tie him up? Fine. There you go from there. We're going to do just a... Uh, can you three roll initiative? We'll just do like a quick a, a quick uh, combat encounter of sorts. Come on, Dex Monkey. Fuck. You have higher Dex, I'm sure, so you'd probably go first. I don't think it matters because Gridane would probably overpower me. <laughs> To be fair, though, he doesn't exactly know where... Uh, actually, no, he, I do he know did make he a perception. Well, exactly I can where see him. him. <laughs> Alright, so, Evan Cleaver, you have the good sight line of a psycho scales covered head to toe in blood and gore. 
Uh, yeah, and because I'm technically invisible, I have advantage, so I'm going to just sharpshooter, and it's going to be hand axes, but it's all going to be flipped, so everything is just the blunt end drilling into this stupid kobo. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's see here. Uh, yeah, attack one. Advantage. 22, does that hit? Ouch. 21, Ouch. bludgeoning. <laughs> attack two. 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, that's going to miss. Uh... uh my third, <laughs> my third attack because of uh, umbral, umbral sight. Uh, nope, not that one. Dread ambusher. Yeah, sure. I get a third attack. Third attack. At advantage. Goodness, awful. Nope. Um, bonus action, quick toss. At advantage. Uh, I will use a superiority dice to precision that. 16. Meets. Okay, that hits. Or 26 whacking damage. I am mentally incapacitated for all... In man I'm still up, but I'm mentally <laughs> incapacitated. I'm not going to uncanny dodge. So 26 uh, and... 26 and 21, so... 47. So you're taking as you got down from this attack? Nope, I'm half... I'm not even halfway oh. down yet. Oh. And let's see, you and... Um, he has a higher dexterity, so scales uh, goes before Toshiro, but... You know what? I'm action surging. Yeah, I'm quick. <laughs> <laughs> All in. All right. Been waiting 130 years to do this. Let's hit him again. <laughs> 19. <laughs> 23 more. Man, it's rough being on that end of the right? the axes, isn't it? Final attack. Crit. <laughs> oh boy. It's not going to actually do that much. 21. Yeah. It's actually I rolled min on both of them. All right. So 21 42 uh 60 Eight. Eight, 88 uh 91 wait 91 exactly uh 221s yeah so 42 uh of 26 that puts it up to 68 and then a 23 88 91 that is exactly my health <laughs> <laughs> no, <drop> down. <laughs> I just I see him in there and it is male slot in the last one into my face yeah it's just so, it's like whoa, whoa. fuck scales none of this and just, and a flurry of axes just drill into the eyeballs <laughs> that I can see in less than six seconds he threw all that and then he like mar nutty. marches up and kicks one of the bodies away to Find an unconscious scales. <laughs> You're gonna take scales with you back then. Uh um, getting out of that resonance area as quickly as possible. He'll he'll turn back and Well he's out. What I do we sheath my sword? Um these crystals oh, fuck well done. Hey Toshra, you're not feeling too good. You stick around any longer, something bad might happen. All right, I'm gonna grab his tiny frame and just just yank him out out of the pile of bodies as quickly as possible. All right, uh, any initiative that was there is gone. <laughs> we <laughs> freaking nutty. Sorry, scales. That was with two missed attacks. <laughs> We'll say, you know, that's how you spend, you're going to spend the next time scale bringing scales back to his... Uh... Oh, and I forgot favored foe. I could have added more damage. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going oh, to gonna bring everybody back to the safe zone area. Uh, yeah. Jesus. Um, He will throw a hand axe as a parting, like, as they're leaving, as he, before he jumps off the boxes. He's going to just hurl a hand axe at one of the crystals before they leave. 
Uh, really? <laughs> yes, really. Make me an attack roll. This gonna be on well. Fifteen. That hits. Can you roll? I mean, damage. Nine damage. It was not a sharpshooter. It was just flinging it and running. There is an explosion behind you. Oh, shit. Sweet! There leads to other explosions. Sweet! Oh! We. He puts on shades as he runs. Please make <laughs> me a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. Puts in a at cigar. impossible. <laughs> I just, I, I call it impossible difficulty after the Star Wars one, which was, uh... 11. That's a fail. Yep. Wait, don't you have advantage so it cancels out? It's okay. If Grenade goes nope. insane, uh, we have... Uh, <laughs> he's already used his action surge and all his fancy abilities, so we have a shot. Does Normally we would If it's a mental thing, don't you Who's have the... the uh, it's just for, you. I was going to say, that's that. Oh. I, get, I get all those special abilities back on a short rest. <laughs> yeah, but like if you're insane, it's not... You, you know... <laughs> Probably attack right away, so. This is the only time I'd ever feel comfortable fighting. <laughs> um, so yeah, 11. So wait, 11, okay. Uh, you instantly go homicidally insane. Instantly? You. After 130 just... years of resisting? It's not. You destroyed it. It's sent out a... all of them. Alright. It, 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 okay. Just it one of them. It was catastrophic. Yeah, well, just one of the positive ones breaking was enough to cause a riot. There you was broke positive? a negative. Oh. Yeah, it was a positive one that well, wouldn't caused that have the reverse happen. effect? Right. This no, is not, get all so, warm and fuzzy inside. No, so it's it should not go. Like, yeah, not. but the, the thing is, it's like, yes, it would potentially make nope. Gradane go insane, but then the aura disappears. They're all broken. No, that's not how this one works. Oh, good. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> no, that's not how you're supposed to play the game. <laughs> we don't know how we're supposed to play the game. <laughs> we no, I've, I've turned we this into the IKEA. Prices, right. I, I hey, thought we were hey, coming hey. on the prices right, but this is actually just one of hey. those weird Japanese game shows where nothing makes hey, sense. <laughs> yes. I thought Toshiro explained. You know the slogan the of Game Changer. You all know what the game is. The only way they find out is to play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought Toshiro explained all that breaking them was a really bad idea. He did, and he and and Gradane is sick of them, so he figured, well, if they get broken, maybe yes, they'll have a bad explosion, but then they'll be done. As opposed to this constant forever, 130 years of white psychic noise. Scales and uh, Toshiro, please make me a wisdom saving throw. I'm That's knocked out. Yeah, he's he's. Your mind is still there in existence. <laughs> he is he is so. drooling. <laughs> I'm lucky in that. I'm lucky. Fucking oh, shit. I'm lucky in that again. We gave up. We used up all our good time. rolls. It's the first thing that it's not even awake. <laughs> it's not good. I'm gonna lucky that again. You can you can only oh, lucky oh, once. Oh, Wait, can you? <laughs> Yeah, you can only lucky once a roll. Roll 20. This is why we use Foundry. <laughs> and with that, we're going to skip We're gonna skip forward to the end of this train ride. Let's see. You were at 130 years? Apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, 1,700 years have passed. Well, 1,700 years. <laughs> I'm not the oldest human ever. Let's go. <laughs> You still got three hundred and some years on to catch up to Gradane. It's all relative now. I know, I know. It doesn't matter. We're all just elves, uh, which makes Gradane upset. Fucking <laughs> elves. All right. Uh, NPCs, come to me. Oh. Oh what? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a humming noise. A man at his computer is typing out. Lamar, Rose, Sen, and Sindel. Staring in front of you is a device. Similar to a brain, it's staring directly at you. 
Your items are in hand. And above it, you see a number, number one. This is your first, uh, first, uh, day. Well, first day of cleanup, anyways. You hear from Technician Earl. Uh, this is currently taking place, uh, a minute and ten seconds ago. Earl calls out to you for, Hey, uh, we got a train going. Uh, should be leaving in approximately a minute, so... Any last-minute questions you guys want before we get on this? Rose, Lumpa, and Sen. Do you have any questions before you get on? Besides what you already know. Are we these people? No, not you, sorry. Uh, that would be Nakoshi and uh, Kichan. Uh, like which character am I getting? Okay, okay, okay. I'm assuming you're Sen, or you uh, could be Lamar. <laughs> you should be able to move your token though, as a thing. Uh, just move it. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. You fucked up. Again. No, actually, I did on fire first. Any questions, guys? Pretty Seriously? much just get the people on into their seats, right? Yep, same Take as the floor, same as orientation. Um, it should why can uh... we ever get any real action? Hmm. You know, it should be an easy start to the day anyways. This one looks to be one of the older models and a smaller train at that too. Not that many uh, on board, it looks like. Although, it should be noted, with some of the tickets, there were a couple of Outworlders on there. Looks like they... Uh, got on this train instead of uh, one of the newer models. I'm going to have to have a talk with uh, the other offices about that. But for now, uh, you have uh, about half a minute. So if you want to have any last minute, you know, questions, changes, it should be pretty simple, though. Simple job. And out of the corner of your eye, too, you see just over in the darkness, just a group of uh, weird-looking armored soldiers in rabbit outfits sitting around a table. One of them, a taller uh, one with a cape, is just looking at you. The only uh, emotion they have is the reflection in their eyes. Lamar calls out to you, three. Don't worry, guys. I'll show you how it's done. But it's good to have you uh, as part of the group, though. This your, uh, <laughs> this your first cleanup group? Uh, y yes. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, it's no problem, no problem. Well, you may be a little bit uh, my senior, but you know, it's uh, never too late to start. I started pretty early, actually. I, uh, hey, we only got a few more seconds left. Everybody ready? You so see, do uh... We just, uh, do we just, you know, jump on the train, or...? Oh no, that's what this is for. He points to the brain-looking item. It'll drop us right on the train, uh, right outside where uh, most of us uh, people are. We can just get that done real quick, and hopefully, it should be in. It should be easy. It should be easy. Technician arrow calls out. Uh, jump it! You're literally dumping us on top of the train. More like dumping us inside the train. It's this warp tech. I. <laughs> I'm really good at my cleanup job, but not very good at understanding the whole specifics about it. You'd have to ask Technician Earl about that, but get ready, guys. Uh, the train's about to leave. In five, four, three, two, one. And then you see a counter appear above the brain. It says 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, and as soon as it says one, you see Earl over at the side immediately fling his arms out onto the computer, pulling uh, what looks to be like electronic sub commands into it. There's a warping sound. And as the timer hits zero, you look around you and you see outside of, say, this bubble, well, 
it's actually really big because it includes Earl in there, but you know a clock over at the far corner has uh, stopped moving. All right, guys, we're in it now. You've entered the stop time. All right. You guys ready for this? Uh, Lamar says to you with a chipper tone. How about we stop dawdling and just get right to it? Right about that. Earl, send us in. We're going in. And as the brain starts to activate, it shoots out a sort of scanning device. And as you leave, the last thing you see is just the entire room. And... I need to go be right back. Okay, go ahead. Take your time. I need to set stuff up. <laughs> Get ready to collect hand axes in the face! Please tell it's me that the people sure jacking in... Fine. The people jacking in right now is like the end... It's been Art. a long time. Nope. <laughs> like, the, their jacking in was the earlier, like, first 30 minutes of the train ride. No. Shit. So if we're all homicidal, because... everyone in this, everyone in first class is dead. Or... Oh, no, everybody is dead. Well, <laughs> well I mean, I'm dead not homicidal. No, but Grudane is. Tell us, what was your role? Uh, it was like a three, so I think I'm assuming mega psychic damage. No, it, I didn't no. actually roll anything. No, with what what happened there with all the destruction of all the crystals at once, anything below its uh, nat twenty was a fail. So we're I all called it an impossible difficulty. It's been a long time though. Below a dirty or be, or it had to be a perfect nat twenty. That's why I keep calling it an impossible difficulty check. Impossible is like 30. Like, oh. if we're going by uh, DM tables. Uh, we're all insane. But apparently we're, we're insane yes. enough to work together. We're like we a cult. Actually, each other. joined together in our madness. Actually, I want to give this a try, but you know, no, we'll say after a certain amount of time, you know, after you got done doing your thing, you eventually came out of it. And coincidentally, through a DM fiat, you came out just the train came out. You three woke up just staring at a what used to be houses, but have been since torn down and uh, there's body parts littering everywhere. And uh, can you turn off your aura, please? I, I don't know if I can turn it off myself. It's permanent now. <laughs> Take it. Uh, you guys have finally come back to, and uh, it's bad. It's real bad. Gannett has long since been torn to pieces in his uh, cage. His items nowhere to be found. No. Possibly in pieces. My houses. I worked so Can damn hard to make those houses. Uh... You all, Good all three king. of you definitely got a full rest. Good <laughs> king. Yeah. Good king. And at this point... Some poor Ooh. saps show up to get murdered. We are now level 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all man, right. a level 20 game. <laughs> Uh, NPCs, how are you going to start your, uh, your journey into what you, you come into a, a train car that's just filled with ash. Female NPC has not yet returned. Oh, in that case, that'll give me time to do this. NPC, but thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to get a drink too. Okay, a little break then. So say that 
that mental thing that was has been an issue is no longer active right now. Yay. That's part of the levers that uh, I didn't mention, but he did pull. Uh, the three of you are noticeably more bloodied than and injured since you've last had sanity. You've had it like sort of in and out. You're a bit, uh, to best describe the way you act now is weird. Oh, thank you. We'll start with uh, the end PCs. You're actually starting in here. Uh, Lamar pulls out a sort of PDA-looking device from his uh, pocket. Oh yeah, at some point, a uh, friend got killed. <laughs> no! Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, Tosher, it wasn't you that killed him. Okay. It, it was definitely Grenade. It was Grenade. Was... <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is pinned to the wall with dozens of axes. And actually, you wouldn't see it, but he is actually dead. Uh, for the three, actually, we'll go back to them. You would notice Samal, who was to this point, she was actually still in somewhat, pe uh, still one piece, despite whatever happened in between the ensuing years. <laughs> but, well, technically, she's in two pieces. Two pieces. You got me there. But at this point, that you note that she's no longer alive, along with the water balloons that have to this point also been popped at some point. <laughs> <laughs> water balloons. Why did I miss? Uh, booze balloons. Yeah. Booze balloons. They have been popped at some point in the intervening thousands, decades. Oh, no. The guy who was missing his head has also uh, fallen. And Gennett is, well, uh, like I said, he's in... It's hard to tell if he was ever in there. It's just painted wall, uh, painted red with viscera. You look out the window and you don't see the blue warp anymore. Rather, you see what looks like you're in a warehouse now. You have a multitude of new mortal injuries on you that, well, aren't affecting you, but they have been, uh, they're there. <laughs> We've just been fighting for years. <laughs> we'll go to the NPCs. Lamar comes in, pulls out his PDA. It looks like... Yeesh. It looks like there was a bit of an incident. Hmm. Yeah, it, it looks like yeah, a fire just... had started. <laughs> Looking back. Mm, what gave it away? There's dry blood everywhere? Yeah. I don't really say dry blood. I say more of the ash. Literally everywhere. He does have a point. There's a lot of ash lining this zone. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do this part on our own. Uh, you see Lamar pull out of his pocket and a small orb and he activates it. He pulls out a second one and also activates it. Remember, all of the wood has been stripped yes, and flat packed. <laughs> yeah, it is just a metal grating you're walking on, that, and you're walking past like destroyed houses. When you said it's an old train, did you mean old and worn down? Actually, no, not like this is uh, looking at the missing floor. It's actually par for the course with the, how this happens, but he uh, inputs a button, and the spiders immediately go off, and you see them go up to this creature and grapple onto it. They can handle the back area, but it looks like we have a... There's still some combat-capable people at the front. Hmm. What, are we supposed to be taking him out or something? We can try talking with them first. It might be easier. <laughs> they could be safe. Yep. Well, you know me, I'm not a very people person. It's all you, boss. No problem, that's why we hired you. We need muscle for this job. You and Sin. Uh, come on. And Sindel just follows behind. She's there. <laughs> For you three at the front, you see some blue-coated people coming in. You hear one of them call out, Hello? Are you... Do you understand common? And that's when the fighting started. <laughs> Gredane, Gredane, the door opens, and Gredane is standing there, hand axe in hand, glowing. His, the hand axe is glowing, just stares down. He's got his shield out. I, uh... 
I, I don't think he's friendly. The fuck <laughs> are, are you? And jumps behind a wall. We're, we're with W Corp, he calls out from around the chair. It's we're... been over a millennia. Uh, calm down, sir. Look it. Calm Look, down. Do you know how long we've been on this damn train? I I don't know, sir, but I do know that you are entitled to financial compensation after uh, what just happened to you. Ooh, he does not look good. He calls uh, Lamar calls out. They, I, you're, you're just covered in various, not even scars, uh, but like open wounds. The per lethal first or lethal? The person he who is whoever is leading, Gradane plants a hand axe an inch from his head. Doesn't hit him. Purposely misses. All right. I can see you're upset, and I don't think there's you much I can do You don't to... understand the meaning you're of right, my sir. upset. What the fuck happened? There was a mistake on the train. It's you an old give bomb. me any there more a... bullshit, I'm going to decapitate you and your little friends. I like this guy. <laughs> Lamar just looks at you and goes, You would. What? Listen, sir, listen. They're trying to inform you. Oh, we're rolling initiative. No, I'm <laughs> yeah, just doing preemptively right. because I saw the thing okay. come up. Please go no, on. Actually, yeah, no, we should, uh, everybody roll initiative as, I'm counting this as we're in a, a high-stress situation. Structured time. Right? Yeah, structured time. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in angry mode, so I, my initiative sucks. For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't like my token. Yeah. How do I roll initiative? Uh, click on uh, your character, then go to the W Corp crew page and click on initiative next to armor class. Ah, uh, thank you. Let me know when you've rolled. Let's see. Scales, Evan Cleaver, Rose, Lamar, Toshiro, Sindel. Was that everybody? Looks like everybody. Uh, me blind. Others. Oh, Where is Sin? Mother of God, Sin! <laughs> Apparently, they came ready to throw down, unlike us who have been stuck here for nearly two millennia. Oh, Rose, why did your 20 turn into a 13? Because it's actually a 13. Actually, it says you rolled a 19. Uh, nope, it's up where my name is, Crystal Key, Rose, initiative 13. Uh, what? Oh, no, you're right. No, I see it now. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And the it was uh, the... Oh, I think I accidentally rolled for you at some point. Yeah, okay, we'll take your yeah, roll. Yeah, you did. My bad. Send, Sindel, Lamar. We all rolled high, uh, except for you. Oop, there we go. And it disappeared. Oh, oh no! Okay, no, it's still there. I forgot if I exit out of it, it turns <laughs> out. Mm -hmm. Send goes first in this uh, time. What is your, what are you going to attempt to do? Uh, listen, sir, if we will help you out. We just need you to sit back down in your seat. <laughs> what seat? Are there are you, no seats left. Are you in After charge? The seats are still here. They were the only unmovable Is things. Back that gonna get an axe to my face? No. Not yet. No, I'm not in charge. That'd be our leader Rose over here. No, actually, it's Lamar at the top left. That'd be our leader Lamar over here. It's, I'm new. The one, I, the one that has an axe <laughs> still vibrating an inch from his head. Yeah, the, the, the small one, actually, of the group. He's actually the shortest, youngest looking one. Yes, I am the leader, and I'm telling you, it's this is a mis what happened here shouldn't have happened. I'm telling you. No shit, Sherlock. You're entitled to financial compensation regarding what happened on this train. We just need you to take a second and, and relax. Oh, uh, Sen, will that be your turn then? Your action? 
Uh, yes. Yeah, we're all currently still in cover too. I'd say a uh, half cover with these chairs. Full cover so for not... Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> Full cover for Lamar. No, half cover as well. <laughs> now Lamar. Lamar is gonna attempt another uh, attempt at diplomacy. Look, Mister uh, Axeman. Uh, what's your name? My name is Lamar. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I know you're not very big fans of our co company right now. We understand. Well, we can see that you're not very happy. So, why don't we just put down the axe and try and talk this out? How about you stop trying to calm me down and start talking? So we're trying. We're trying. Uh, that'll be the mars. the train. That is in the works. We just need to make sure you're in your seats before we actually get you back into, uh, into the train station. Talk, talk, if you talk, talk off the train. Seat. Off the train. Uh -oh. <laughs> need to get off the train. That'll be Lamar's turn. Sindel is going to ready in action. Uh, <laughs> Evan Cleaver, what is your passive perception? Uh, 16. Being the closest, you just you just see her readying her fists as a defensive measure. Uh, but that's all you can tell from what her movement is. Scales, you're up. Yes. Um, I'm going to attempt to disappear into thin air with a bonus action hide. It's not magical in nature, right? No, I, I'm just that okay. good. I believe you. Hey. Nope. Nope. I close my eyes and think really hard. Happy <laughs> thoughts, happy thoughts. I'm off the train. I'm off the train. Guys, they don't seem all there. Uh, be, um, ex be extra careful, you three, all right? Uh, Lamar calls out the Cinderrills and Sin. I'm just going to start running past them. What the? As you close the distance, Cinder is going to take a, a kick at you with a, a specific attack as she assumes that you're going into attack of mode on her. I'm trying to go sprint in between the two of them, but okay. Well, she just assumes with how fast you ran towards them. Uh, she's going to attack you. <laughs> Does a six hit you? <laughs> well, actually, is that counted as a, a back attack since uh, Lamar's on the other side? Thank you. I, need to check I don't know. Oh, is he a hostile oh, towards me? Crosstile, he is on the opposite side of you. The question is, yeah. is when when does the attack does the attack happen the moment he gets or er, Stales gets into melee? Range? Oh no, you're right. So it would actually you're right. No, you called it. Uh, it will attack right here. So no, he doesn't get twenty five feet. It. No flanking. Yeah, no flanking. That's what it was. You just see a uh, Sindel throw out a wild swing at you as you get close. Uh, are you going to continue moving forward? <laughs> I see. I, I see that they came from this direction. Therefore, there must be an exit off the train in that direction. Oh yeah. So you're just gonna attempt to keep moving then? I don't know why I took the disengage. I cut it. Well, I'm just gonna say I did. You well. took. You took disengage, or you didn't. You took the took hide. Disengage. You took hide bonus action, but you could oh, take hide, the disengage action. action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In that case. uh you did not get attacked at all. That never happened. No, uh, no, no. Okay, so, so, wait. No, if you if you ready an action, that's still an action. But if I did a disengage, it just means that. Wait a second. Now I have to. Wait, no. Oh, you're right. No, I'm getting it mixed up now. I I counted a, uh, the readied action as a reaction attack. That's how it works. Yeah. You you ready it? an action. Oh, so... It uses up your action on your turn, and then you it uses your reaction. Oh, it does use to trigger. Okay, so disengage would uh, prevent you from getting attacked through that, through a readied action, yeah, a ready you, attack. You ignore, disengage basically means you ignore opportunity attacks. All right, you never got attacked by Sindel. She would never do that. She's a good person. I am desperate to leave. Yes, she sees the manic uh, desperation in my eyes. Right. Oh, roll. Scales is running for the hills, and the four, well, Sindel and Lamar are getting noticeably agitated from how fast Scales is moving. What's he doing? 
Everybody calm down. I'm sure we can talk this out. What the hell happened to that guy? You see his face? You just hear in the distance. We actually, have where been are you? here uh, for 1400 years. Wait, actually 1700 or 1400? 1800. Fuck me. Almost 1800 ago. years. Yeah, you only recently came back to. I don't think they can hear you from that far away. <clears throat> Wait, where am I? You're all the way above Genid's uh, oh. masticated corpse. I'm going to walk over. As I'm saying that, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, uh, basically awesome. what I just said. I'd like to make a persuasion check. Uh, sure, you can. I mean, are you just trying to relieve the tension in the room or? Yes, like everybody calm the fuck down. Okay, yeah, we can, well, we can do with that. You have much explaining to do. And we wish to hear. Fuck. Look, just... Look at that. Yeah. Oh, you get the best possible <laughs> reaction to that, which is... Uh, <clears throat> that one seems more in tune with his marbles. As uh, Lamar and... Sp uh, specifically Lamar and Sindel start to relax. I'm still covered in viscera and missing an eye, but... <laughs> You can at least talk. Will that be your turn? Um, if I have a bonus action, I'm going to pop, uh, oh, what's it called? Fighting Spirit? Wait, no, I still have my 10 hit points. Never mind. Yeah, that's my turn. Can I ready a bonus action or is it just actions? Mm, just actions. They're just actions, yeah. Okay. That part I do know. Okay, that's my turn then. Okay. I misspelled something, but don't worry about it. Uh, Rose! Scales is currently in a beeline running past you. And there's, uh, these three look pretty dang spooky. But Toshiro at the, or the, the samurai man in the back seems to be more in control of himself and is attempting to relax everybody, calm the tension down. Like the boss man said, we're just trying to make you guys ease and try to relax because all we need from you guys is just go back to your seats. Once you're in your seats, boss man will just explain the situation. So yeah. yeah I would like to sit down. I forgot about that part. Oh. Okay. Uh, your seat is over here, but you can pretty much take any seat to sit down. I'll go to my seat. I'm a good little boy. Assuming I can move that much when it's uh, not Wait, your turn. I can, I, I can use my dash oh. action from from my turn to to get the extra distance. Okay, he he legs it, jumping into a seat. Oh, can I say that I I legged it into the cart and then walk slowly over to my seats? Actually, the, dashing first and then walking over. You didn't take a disengage, right? From you what? took your bonus. You took a bonus to dash, right? Or your uh, extra no, action. No, my to dash. actual action. Sindo is still in attack mode. Uh, she's going to throw a swing at you. Does an eight hit you? <laughs> no, no, it bounces off my head. I don't even notice it. it. I don't even acknowledge it. I just keep walking to my seat. Bing. It's like a very shaky, like, bong. She just stares in disbelief at you. Okay, uh, Sindo, maybe you need to take a step back. We seemingly have a group of people here who can talk. Sorry, sorry. It's just like I, the, the axe one. I yeah, have to be oh, I'm done. You're lucky you attacked oh, me. Really hard <laughs> you attacked oh, me, you would have lost done. your hand. Alright, uh, Rose, it's your turn. Do I need to repeat whatever I just oh, yeah. said? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you can you still have like any other move or action you want to make as scales is still like it. And Tosha already got in this seat. Uh, is there a possible way I can keep the little scales man in place yeah i could move in front of him or yeah try and grapple him from the side or move in front of him it's like a yeah she'll move in front of him and then like i mean, was in a way just putting her hands on his shoulder in a gentle manner and like listen 
No need to freak out. There's nothing back there. But check your friends. Listen to the man. We'll explain everything. That's how we're supposed to say, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, scales, what's your response to that? Blood for the blood gut, skulls for the skull thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Murder, murder. To be murder, fair, they haven't murder, seen the murder, house of murder, they murder. haven't seen the house of bodies yet. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> um, um, no longer hyperventilating, but still just wild-eyed and yeah. All right. All right, that'll be your turn, Rose. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm not Evan, going anywhere else. Evan Cleaver, you still have your axe just oh. in front of uh, Lamar's face. He he's threw it. It's just, there's one vibrating next to him. He's got the the you know resummoned one back in his hand, and he's just looking around. I ain't sitting down and see you start explaining. I don't give a shit what you tell me to do. I deserve to know what the fuck happened, and I deserve to know it from whoever is in charge of you. And sir, I'm telling you, I'm you the this. one talking. Either you start explaining, or you lose your throat, and the next in line does. Lamar just looks at Toshiro. Is he always like this, or is this... Whoa, Sorry, yeah. hey, 18, 1800, 18... Yes, yeah, yeah. It's 1800 cool. years. Gradain. Let's get this over with. They better give, be giving us all a dragon's hoard worth of gold. Was that your action then, or was um, that your turn? I should say. Uh, as his. Yeah, I'll say that's his his action. That's his turn. Right, so he's not sitting, but he is demanding so, yeah, answers just... now. Sense turn. Uh, Toshiro's sitting down. Scales is... Re he's ready almost to bolt, but he is calming down due to Rose's presence. Evan Cleaver is... Seething. Very upset. He's seething. Yeah, he's... The man for answers skyrockets. Well, well little man. Said. Actually, son is pretty tall, but. Which one of you is going to start giving me answers? Everyone's Sorry, so, Sorry, oh, there uh, it is. Uh, Distracted by the puppy. What? Uh, uh, Your direct Cleaver. superior has asked TLDR. you a question, maggot. Uh, Toshiro is sitting down. Scales is calming down from Rose. Evan Cleaver refuses to sit down, but he's currently seething and he looks like he's about to attack any minute. Well, yeah, he looks like it. Don't, don't worry, we will help you out. But first, we may take a head count of everyone on the train. Oh, We're the only the ones left. Oh, what? Lamar calls out. It has been 1800 years. And your yeah. damn train filled with all those damn crystals drove everyone insane. Crystals? I... What are you talking about? Well, you don't seem to fucking know what we're talking about, so we better get taken to somebody who does. You will. You will. Just... It, it's hard, but you just have to take a moment to rest. Take a second and... It's been 1,800 years. years. <laughs> What's one more minute? <laughs> 
You have no idea. Oh, it's not even my turn. It's Sen's turn. Sorry, Sen. I took your, your conversation. <laughs> no, he's just sitting over here. It, it, it. Okay. Uh, right, I understand your frustrations. Do, do you? You understand nothing. But pray tell what has occurred here. We will let you know once we get a head count of everyone, including the bodies. It's just us. The bodies are gone. Most of them. There are a few in the back car. He's going to look over to Lamar. What the hell did you guys get up to here? Us? You're asking us? This was your train. <sighs> your responsibility. <laughs> Your crystals that sick, suck people's sanity. Your train that was attacked by fucking psychopaths. Stars of the city. What? 1800 years ago, this train was attacked by two stars of the city. I mean, that's a star on the train here? That's. It's not. Do you know which impossible. ones it was? It happened. Can you remember? Can you remember which, what they were? Blood, 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 puppets, puppets, strings, blood. Lots of blood. She liked blood. It was a vampire and men in a mask. Red strings puppets. made flesh constructs. That they, Lamar has an idea. Oh, uh, Sen, was that your turn? <laughs> we'll say. Yeah. You want to like? Okay. Lamar's in. I. That, that can't be though. I think. Are you referring to a vampire? You said some kind of vampire. A oh, demon. That... Blood red. Was it a blood fiend? A, the blood red knight. It's the only star I know of. They didn't give us their names, and if they, even if they did, I would have forgotten it. 1,800 years can do that to someone. Couldn't have been her, though. She's dead. Long dead. She didn't seem dead. What year is it? It's 20XX, uh, same year you left. Well. That part was said in DM speak, uh... The twenty XX part was said in uh, Lamar. It, you, whatever happened on this train? You've only been gone for not even a minute. Did I uh, fucking stutter? Eighteen hundred years. I heard you. I just, I can't comprehend it. Then don't, and take us to someone who can. We can, we will, we just need you to take a seat along with your group and we can sort this mess out, but we need to make certain that at the very least we have everybody who's still capable on this train. Trust me. Take your look around. We will be Stash. here. But make it quick. Okay. We will. There's uh, no one Sindo. else left. Scales moves to... I'm guessing Scales moving to a chair? Yep. Yeah, Sindo is just uh, relaxing. S Scales is in a chair. Is there anything you'd like to do besides in that chair? Or besides moving in that chair? I would like the bonus action hide underneath the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough, I guess, to the chair. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Okay. I'm not actually sure how to describe it everybody sees action doing... hiding underneath the chair there <laughs> first time he goes to hide bashes his forehead against the chair <laughs> no bonus action two actions and then he just suddenly sinks into it i lamar just goes I you're distracted by works. the first sound and then you realize he's gone <laughs> that was sure like, was hiding under, he's got a lampshade on his head <laughs> <laughs> oh sure yes is there anything you'd like to do still sitting on that chair? I would like to persuade Chuck again, but this time directly address Gradane. Ooh. Okay. 
Uh, mm. yeah, just to be fair, though, uh, just a note, uh, persuasion checks made on player uh, characters is I know, always... it's up to them. It's all RP. Yeah. It's RP. We got it. Okay, never mind. Yeah. The faster we sit down and let them go with their bullshit, the sooner we get out of here. I don't mind your company, but it has been 1800 years. We could do with a break from one another. That'll be your action turn thing. Yeah, it's like, what yeah. else can I do? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna you? I'm gonna take out one of the meals, one of the like millions of meals. That I've prepared. <laughs> Notably, it would not have spoiled. Yep, and I offer one to Grudain. <laughs> uh, Rose, you managed to convince Scales into his seat, uh, or under his seat, but it's close enough. Hmm. Wait, well, question. I'm not going to stand around and do nothing. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to be doing. So she's just going to walk past the dwarf and make make her beeline towards the first class car, taking her action to just continue her walk using the dash action to see if there's other people in there. And then she just like looks at the aftermath of everybody in the multiple houses made of wood and whatever little... pieces that was scavenged and she just like what the fuck happened here 1800 years happened. 1800 years there, there are a couple scraps that you can see that the dovetailing is immaculate <laughs> the best woodworking you have ever seen most of it is scraps and shattered but there are a couple pieces in there that you have never seen woodworking done that fine. He's amazing. All right, that'll be your turn then, Rose, as you get to work. They should have sent yeah. a poet. Evan Cleaver. <laughs> I rolled a natural 18 on my insight check on myself using his DC of 16 to see if it would affect him. In this case, he passed the save. So Gradane lowers his axe, looks at Toshiro. <sighs> I am so fucking tired. Room. Same here. I just want to be done. He's just gonna sit down. Make it to get a seat. Alright. The hand axe vanishes from his hand. And he just sinks into both open hands. With that, turn order is over, but uh, if I can, you know, have a stop time moment as everybody is taking their seats. Wait for it to start. A metal bar locks around each of your stomach. Oh, for fucks. <laughs> a metal spike suddenly stabs through all three of you. Wonderful. For, like that, I guess if I'm, I'm assuming like biology wise, you all have hearts, right? Yes. You Weird. see on the hot, hot, right? metaphorical or like anatomical? Literal. Okay, literal. literal hearts. I would hope so. You see on the edge of that spike is. Well, it was in you. Your heart. Uh, Did it stab figures. from the back? Th through the chair you sat in. Wonderful. And it would have to go through 
Gradain's shield, which is on his back, as well as the axe on his back. <laughs> it's uh, it's an industrial grade thing. It's not exactly something that you hold. It's back an from. L core. Uh, it's an L core spike that's unbreakable and super sharp. <laughs> In front of each of you, you see something leaving your body. Uh, you can't see that, right? The orbs. Yep. yep. Uh, as a okay. magnet over my hard drive. <laughs> the RG yeah, looks each, pretty. Each orb fades up into the sky. And then as your vision peters out, darkness overtaking anything. Oops. I killed him. He turns. <laughs> he turns and spits blood on Lamar. <laughs> the last thing. Well, actually, uh, actually, let me bring you back to that page. Uh, <laughs> not not yeah. something you would actually see, but it's just... Uh, God damn it, Jillian! We don't want to see it anymore! <laughs> We're done! <laughs> oh, In the no. very... No, it's just like this. No. No. In the far top right is a small glow. Much smaller than the orbs you had from a dismembered arm in a corner. This one also floats into the sky. And then... You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> I immediately murdered Daniel. <laughs> no, that's the thing, How, do we remember anything? I was I actually forgot to. I was gonna rewatch the the VOD so I can describe exactly what I said, but uh just like include a timestamp here to that part of the VOD, just when you first came out. Uh for Toshiro, who was standing with this pole at the top or using it as a handrail, you are no longer doing that. You instead have your arm on the chair. Do I have my do I have my rod though? You do have your rod, you have all of your items. Anything you used is with you again. Okay, so all uh, the nails I used to crucify Chaticus are back in my possession. Jesus, yes, I forgot about that. Chaticus is also sitting in his seat. <laughs> we have Chaticus back, yay! Uh... And the train ride ends. Is Winona on the It's train? over! Ten ah! <laughs> I would like to say, though, I didn't get a chance to actually write it down. Let me uh, type it in, but... As your reward for going through this, <laughs> you gain, well, you gain a party member. Yeah, that one's going to come in. But you also gain an ability. The first time you go down, uh, this is only for uh, Evan Cleaver, uh, Toshiro, Scales, and Chaticus. The first time you ever hit zero HP and you go down, your first death saving roll will always be a success. If you are attacked in any way before you make that roll, the automatic fail is instead turned into an automatic success. Yay. Uh, I wish I could write it. I should write this down. Uh, just I'll, I'll fix it afterwards. Automatic success. We can on... fix it in post. Yeah. Also, on your death saving throw, if you make a 17 or above, that's counted as a natural 20 and you get back up. Yay! Ooh. Kind of like the... Is it the Reborn? I think it's the Reborn has something similar to that. That's pretty Oh, cool. there's something already at that? Uh, Reborn? Uh, can you direct me to that later? I want to... That way I can... I oh, no. It. Yep. And back here to this... <clears throat> well, it's actually not the same, Winona. Winona, can you uh, do your thing in a... Change that token. Huh? Uh, you had a new token for Winona, right? Oh. Which one? There were like five. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a sleeping Winona. <laughs> you want the sleeping one? Uh no, this one this one works, yeah. She's still I sleeping can't... technically, but uh uh you need to maximize it. Maximize it? Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I mean I like this. Th this one is the one you pulled out is fine. This is a change. No, I'm remote. letting everyone else see it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what you meant. Oh, sorry. Despite oh. how she may seem, 
Well, actually, no. We'll get back to it in a second. As uh, Harmon sits there, thank you for that. I'll put that in later. With four orbs in her, a red burning orb, a fractal orb that is barely able to hold a single spot, a small glimmering fire, smaller than the other orbs, and a dark shadowy orb with a sort of monochrome appearance uh, emanating around it. Cling to life. Oh, that one. Yeah, I'll take that. She takes all four of them and puts them into a single orb. Interesting, 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 she calls out. Winona, dear, will you wake up? She makes a gesture with her hand and Winona comes back to. Winona. What? You, you saw a little bits and pieces of everything that happened around your body. You got to witness the fall of the train and how everything fell apart as time passed on. And Carmen here, you see in front of her a orb. Oh, it's not even play. Hold on. Don't give up on me now. There we go. Winona. This is vital. She whispers to you. For the purpose of enriching the light and your allies. I would like you to hold this. It's not it's not it's the experiences they witness. They will not remember. They will not even have an inkling of what happened to them on that train. But with this, you will be able to hold it for them. It will help you find them. And you can, it'll also help you empower them. Are you willing to take this? Being that I've been sleeping over the last... How long was it again? 1842 years. Withering away and decay. Purification, almost adult. <sighs> there is a lot that you're asking of me. I always wanted mm -hmm. one thing, but now you're making me choose something else. That's also, I know, something like this would be too much for even one person to bear. So, uh, Winona, can you bring out your other token? As somebody <laughs> on the, yeah, as somebody currently on the other train, as everybody leaves the train, you know, following their path of. Oh, let me actually to just going toward L Corp. Yeah, going toward <laughs> L Corp. In the back left, a faceless moniker to everybody. Wait, back left? Where? Uh, uh, the here? far bottom left. Yeah, the standard car. Can you put your token there as everybody that else is work. left? That's like, weird. Yeah. We'll just assume one that. Second. There's one, second. one person there. I know, I know. I just said, uh, eh. trying to move everybody to m mimic an empty, empty uh, train. There is a person in my spot. <laughs> yeah, it was to reflect the fact that uh, you don't have any. Uh, since you never really met them, you were just a faceless person. Mm. This is old Winona, who is currently taking a nap as soon as this train ride ends. And we come back to... Yeah, can you put old Winona here as well? Old Winona comes to staring at Carmen. And new Winona, or, you know, darkened Winona, what name you want to give her. You both catch sight of each other. Something like this would be too much for one person. But maybe for the both of you, you might be able to handle it.
What Obviously, they're going to stare each other down. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the pure one is like looking in shock, and the other one is just on face and just looking like as if, yeah, I don't care where I am. I want what I want kind of face. And just looks over to Carmen, and the white one will look over to the the lady it's a Carmen as well confused and uh, I'm sorry to throw this on you so quickly Winona she looks at uh, the pure one but you've experienced something horrible something you don't say it's the dark it's just... if there's any hope for this city of changing it in any meaningful way I need the both of you. Someone who's seen the dark underbelly. Someone who's still pure from all the horrors. Someone who's climbed into the abyss and climbed back out. And someone who will hopefully never have to see that abyss. I need your help. As you know, as she looks at a darkened Winona, the city is horrible. What you experience... It's nothing new. It's just part of the city life. The cycle will always continue. That's why I need your help to take this experience. Take it for them. Help assist them in their endeavors, their adventure. Maybe you can change something. The dark one just sighs very tiredly. All I want out of this exchange is to go. And if this is the only way for me to do that, so be it. You'll need strength to get through this. That's why you're here. She looks like Dark Winona. She takes a second just to look like meet her eyes, but then looks away and just clicks her tongue in a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, annoyed, angry, annoyed, scoffish <laughs> manner. And the peer Winona will just, well, all I really wanted was to go home, but. After meeting them, I, even though I have been used over these years, I do want to make friends. Friends. Who needs friends when you can just trust yourself? The strength to dirt and loan and the want to gain friends. You'll need both of these in the coming trial. Well, I'll do what I can, and the pure Anona will put her hand on the orb, and the dark one will just look on, rolling her eyes. <sighs> if I just keep ignoring you, you're just going to keep pestering me, so my little... <sighs> and she just puts her hand on the orb. And in that moment... The both of you are assailed by everything that happened on that train. The, the things you couldn't see. Mostly Dark Winona takes most of it, though. Specifically the darker parts so that her other self can continue. Or, well, no, actually. What would happen between the two of you, when, uh, Winona? Uh, As you absorb these that... memories... Being that the old, when the pure Winona has been there and watched the whole massacre and everything, she would feel like this, the heaviness of what her, what she did to those people, especially with their heads popping off, feeling the guilt rush out of her and then all of a sudden invade into the dark one. Um, and the dark one just 
screams out in agony and just looks over to the pure one and <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the glorious oh, such purity and yet you do this maybe I may like you maybe I would look forward to what you do next maybe slip up and I'll take control Whatever the reason, I will enjoy what's to come. And the way of here, one just looks on in shock and not understanding what happened, but uh, it's not going to happen. I, I'm going to only use my powers for good. Uh, like I promised, Carmen. <laughs> Promises. Promises are meant to be broken. Carmen just looks on with her red eyes, not saying a word. Before finally, as you absorb the rest of the memories, just she states, Go on then. For now, she looks at a uh, pure Winona. Go forth. You will find a route. It will lead you to the others. But be prepared. Once you get there, you will be in for the fight of your life. I hope you're ready for this. Both of you. We'll see about that, says the Dark One. I, I'll do my best. And it's at this moment... Winona is being shaken by... Uh, we'll just say it's... Probably scales. This, this, this guy. You know, Sen. Uh, -huh. uh Nikosha, can you just play this role for real quick? Just, you're getting everybody off the train. Yeah. And there's just a lady in the back sleeping. Uh, pardon me, miss. You're... You need to get off this train before it departs again. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, I guess I know stuff. Um, and she'll, to plot. she'll just look around the train and trying to like decipher what's real and what was from what she recovered. And she'll slowly get up and see if she could find the other three, but looks back over to the stranger. Um, where are the doors? Right, right, that way? And she points that yes, way. <laughs> it's fine, they right. aren't actually. Those are the doors. Uh, <laughs> thanks, um, bye. <laughs> she starts beelining it towards the exit. 